Hey everyone, Alice here and welcome to an all signs reading. So we're just gonna see um, the person that is basically on your mind um, or the person whose energy is attached to you or is thinking about you. Um, we're just gonna see what's going on there. We're just gonna check in on the energy. Um, they could be coming towards you. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, but that's sort of the plan for today. Uh, we'll go through Aries, through Pisces. Um, you can check your rising sign, uh, ascendant, whatever you want to call it. Um, that is my intentions. You can do however you want to check it, but that's how I read them for. Um, these are kind of surface level readings as well, just keep that in mind because like I don't go too deep just because I'll be here forever because they're 12 signs so it's very surface. I'm not going to like dig too deep. I might get a little curious about some things and see what's going on there but I largely will probably just like leave a lot alone because I just don't have the time or energy to dig into like 12 you know signs so that i mean that's just the nature of uh, a collective reading like this and keep in mind the our collective readings so or general readings however you want to call it um so keep that in mind that these aren't personal so take what resonates with you leave what doesn't don't try to force things that don't feel right um not everything is going to be for you yeah i mean some of it might and some of it might not just be mindful of that um it could be future influence as well perhaps you can just keep that in mind too uh these are also timeless readings so whenever you find this reading this message um could be for you might not be for this time could be next week or in a year or whenever you find it um there could be something here for you because you're probably not well i mean you could be on my timeline you might not be i was gonna say you're probably not because you don't really know when i did the reading <laughs> but maybe um maybe you are you keep that in mind um i do the readings like a couple days before i actually post them so if you're like watching the reading and you're like, wow, I think this happened like a couple days ago. Well, maybe, maybe you're on the same timeline. Anyways, we'll get started. <laughs> okay, Aries, let's start with you. Let's see, who is this person? What's their energy towards you? So far I'm getting this is somebody that you might not be talking to them or you're not talking much to them because this is, seems to be somebody who's focusing more on themselves, less on the connection. Here, there's something about this connection that they feel there's some sort of restriction, some sort of like something that's off limits. So I mean, I don't know what that can be. That can be anything. Um, probably for most people, maybe somebody is in a relationship or somebody's married or something like that so it's like oh it would be taboo um here there could be children involved like i said maybe somebody's married maybe they have a family or something um that you know i don't feel like it's for everybody but there could be some yeah kids involved uh, maybe you have children with this person um or maybe you talked about having children with this person they seem to, I don't know if they think, like, there's a longing energy here. Um, there's some sort of desire that they have towards you. Okay. I just want to see what's going on with them. What's their energy like? 
who are they like I seem to be thinking a lot about something, trying to figure something out. Um, they might have recently failed at something and they're trying to figure out why did I fail at that. So there could be something that didn't really work out for them, some sort of disappointment. And I, th they could be trying to analyze like why didn't that work out for me. I don't know what it is. Yeah. You know, trying to work out how can I be better at whatever it is I didn't work at. This probably isn't doesn't have like I don't it, I don't think it's your connection. It's just something that's going on in their life. It's just to help you to try to sort of I guess figure out who they are or if you want to know what's going on in their energy kind of thing. This person's got a lot on their plate right now. At least I think they do. They feel like they have a lot on their plate right now. Probably because they're not really succeeding at things here. It's like they're trying. It's like they're trying too hard. They're trying to, too hard at the things that they're trying to succeed at. And because they're trying too hard, they're not able to succeed at it. And I think that's really weighing on them. It, you know, it can be like somebody who's really trying to do good at work or something, but then they they're just doing too much and because they're doing too much then they're you know maybe they're getting too tired and then because like they're burning themselves out maybe and then it's like that's not helping them out at all um but it's like they might feel like they're lacking in some sort of skills um so maybe they could be trying to like go to school go back to school for things and maybe they're just i don't know there's just a lot I think they're doing too much trying to get better at something like why do I keep failing at this but it's like doing too much okay all right let's see their energy towards you how do they what are they thinking about you how do they see you They have fond memories of you, reminiscing about the past very fondly here. Yeah, there's something about you, you're very familiar to this person. You have a history with this person, you definitely have some sort of history with this person. And they see you as safe, in a way. Um, they could see you like family, um, they think of you like that here they think that there's something about you that is very sort of i guess you can say compassionate here like they do think you're strong but in a quiet like a quiet strength type of way here um this can be something new this can be new uh, like, I mean, not to say that maybe they didn't think about you that before, but it's like a new side, maybe side that they're seeing of you. And like, oh, like they see you as being quite emotionally strong. Something like that. Okay. How do they feel towards you? Oh. I'm not going to get that face down. <laughs> Why is that there? They feel like they gotta wait something out here with you. Like, they do feel like, to an extent, you're worth waiting for. Why is this page of swords here? Mm, see, okay, here's the thing. They feel like you're worth waiting for, but also that's kind of an excuse for them not doing anything. 
right? It's like they feel like it's it, it's that type of when somebody tells you you deserve better. Like, I think you deserve better than what I can give you or something like that. It's like this is somebody who, th who thinks that they know what's best for you. But it's kind of just an excuse for them to not really do much. Like, it, it gives them sort of an out for themselves. You know what I mean? Hmm. See what their intentions are. I do feel that they want to. I'm getting a bit fixing, but it's like when it comes to these sort of old habits that they have here, I don't like. I feel like they want to fix them, but at the same time, the way that they're going about doing it is like, it's like they're going in circles. They're not really attacking it in a direct way. It's kind of like somebody who's sort of dawdling, you know, it's a very slow energy. It's like, yeah, I'll get to it. It's like a bit of procrastination. It's like, yeah, I do like want to fix these problems that I have, but it's like, not today. I'll do it tomorrow. And then maybe tomorrow they do a little bit and they're like, okay, I did a little bit of it, but eh, I don't really want to do it anymore today. So I'll, I'll do more tomorrow. So it's like really slow. They do intend to at some point heal this three of swords. And at some point they intend to get help. It's like somebody who like they know they should get like they should go see a therapist or something or they should get some help um, or they should go see the doctor but they keep kind of putting it off and it's not that like they put it off completely they make like these little steps to like healing it's like they just do these little things and it's just taking a while why is it so slow? I don't think they want to move things too fast. It could be they could feel pressured to move things quickly here, and that's not what they want. They don't want to do it that way. I don't want it that way. I don't want things to move faster. It's the king of wands in reverse. I don't want it to move fast. So I'm going to delay things and make it slow. Um, okay, um, let's see, where is this heading? Crossroads, stalemate, power struggle here between the two of you. Yeah, I, I just, I don't really see this going anywhere right now. It just seems very stuck here. Um, if you do communicate with this person, I don't think you're going to get a whole lot. I think you're just going to get a whole lot of excuses from them. Um, I think you might be disappointed in what they have to say here because I don't think that they'll give you what you want right now because it's too difficult for them to maybe even say into words all these things here. Like I said, there's something taboo here and like they desire something here about you in this connection, but it's like they're really just focusing on themselves right now. And also they're like focusing on you, on what should be best for you. It's not just them. It's like, I think that this would be best for you. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really love that. Again, the stupid six of swords. It's moving really slow. Like there's some progress. It's just kind of slow. Okay. 
Antlers. That's what I have for you today, um, Aries. So thank you for watching. If you enjoy these readings, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day, and we're going to move on. Okay, Taurus. Let's see this person. Their energy towards you. like hermit mode here okay okay sorry i'm just like i'm just not impressed with the energies so far of course of course of course of course of course okay so this person is keeping to themselves right now thinking about things very hermit mode here trying to just take care of themselves right now just trying to kind of stay sane i guess um there's a chaser energy here you might not feel this you might not feel like they're chasing you but their energy is chasing you their energy is coming towards you um even though they're in this sort of hiding reflective mode Let's see what's going on with them. What's going on with them? That is a lot, but I guess I'll look at it. Wants to be here wants to be here in this order so let's see okay something's going on for them once a year celebration can be an anniversary can be a holiday a birthday something along those lines they feel like they need to wear a mask here or people are wearing masks around them pretending that they're happy for them or something like that or they feel like they need to wear a lot of hats, like like they gotta wear like a happy face or something here. And they do want to be rescued from this, looking for help, a cry for help here. They wanna get away from this. There's something that's happening that they just kind of want to get away from. They just want some peace and quiet with it here. I don't know what that's about. I'm getting like they want, it's like almost like, it's almost like they want to be the person that is watching instead of being watched i feel like they have energies around them like it's almost like that energy of why am i the center of attention i don't want to be the center of attention it's like everybody's looking at them and they don't want to be looked at right now it's like i would rather that i was the person that was doing the watching the chasing and i don't want to be the one that's being watched um not necessarily I'm not talking about like your it just it just feels like what's going on around them like they have people around them that are watching them maybe even expecting things from them and so they have to sort of feel like they have to play that role it feels like it's something that just happens once a year it's not something that happens all the time maybe maybe it's um like a work evaluation or something i don't know it just feels like there's something once a year maybe they have family that's visiting them and they only visit like once a year or something um it just kind of looks like they don't want to they don't like pretending to be somebody who they're not but they have to like pretend you know how they have to keep up appearances here um it's like they would like somebody to help them out you know to rescue them this just to give them some sort of peace of mind here with this energy okay this can kind of um 
you know, it's here to sort of tell you what's going on and it can kind of maybe explain some of their energy towards you, right? You know, this is somebody who's hiding because they, I feel like they have a lot of, they have people watching them. They have eyes on them. And so they could be hiding from you because maybe they're hiding from, they're trying to hide from other people, but there are certain people, there's certain energies that they can't hide from. They have to make an appearance of some sort here. Okay. Anyways, let's see. Um, how are they seeing you? Where is that? How are they thinking about you? Oh yeah, I forgot to pick up that card. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Because this one's face up and I need to get this one. We'll talk about it in a second. The other one. Okay. Tower. Why is the tower here? Ooh. They think that they messed something up here with you. You guys had a good thing here. Ten of Pentacles. I don't know if they think they messed it up, but they feel like something is just... It's not like how it was. This is like something that was really stable. It's like you had something really stable with this person. They think that it was really stable and that they think it's all gone to shit. Where did this tower come from? Oh, they've been overthinking it. It's just it's thoughts. Thoughts. All the fucking time. Thoughts, 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 thoughts. So they think that something has happened here with the... Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, I'm gonna actually leave these in reverse. So if you guys aren't really talking or... I don't know. If you had some sort of breakup or separation here... Um, maybe somebody didn't, uh, uh, they might not have apologized, um, yeah. I think that the way that they see you it's almost like they think that the relationship has gone to shit because you know maybe there was a separation here or there is a separation here and it's like they've just been overthinking it i i don't think they know for sure i think it's just like this sort of realization that they've had um because it's like it's not at this ten of pentacles it's not feeling like things are good they don't think that it is because you would know you would know if you had ten of pentacles you would know if you had that sort of security with somebody they don't feel like your connection is like that how do they feel towards you They, they're kind of like, they kind of pretend that they don't feel things for you. Um, it's like, they're kind of afraid what those feelings would do to them. So they just kind of pretend like they don't have feelings for you, even though they do have feelings for you. Um, it's like they don't want their feelings to take over. They don't want how they feel for you to influence how they act or what they do here. Okay. Even though it kind of feels like it is, but 
Why? Mm -hmm. It can be because, um, I'm getting like it can be like the beginning of the end or something like that. So there's a there's a fool underneath here. Um It's like the eight of cups, it's kinda like settling. It's like, you know, I'm fine with this. I'm fine if like I know how I feel, but I don't like look at how I feel because I don't want my feelings to influence my actions. And it's kind of like, I'm okay with this, even though it could be better, but I don't want it to be better because I don't want, I don't want it to control me. They don't want their feelings to control them, even though this kind of is, All right? What are their intentions? Eh, why? Yeah, I kind of got that. They don't really know what they're gonna do. This is very back and forth. What should I do here? Cause they don't know. They they like this is like I don't know. I'm I'm too yeah. They're thinking about this too hard. They're thinking about this too much. And I can understand now why they're hiding. They're in this sort of reflective mode, but they're risking overthinking over analyzing the situation here because that's what i'm seeing here somebody that's over analyzing things here i don't know if this will be resolved um anytime soon because it seems in the near future this is just going on repeat here i don't think that they're going to share anything with you Yeah, it can cause problems for your relationship. It can just cause, you know, they're keeping their the the problems, the issues that they have with the relationship to themselves here. And by keeping it to themselves, it's like they're just perpetuating the cycle. It's just going to keep going over and over because they don't really like, I don't know, they're not really communicating here. I just see this as somebody that's not really communicating. They don't want to. You can't force somebody to do something they don't want to do. I'm getting a lot of resistance here. Like, what's the block here? Why, what, why are they, why, yeah, what's sort of, what's blocking this, this energy? They're not looking at what's right. They're not looking at trying to make anything right. Why? Because it's self-sabotaging energy. They're only looking at like in the present moment. They're not looking like, you know, they're not looking at the bigger picture here. They're just looking at what they think right now is going to help them right now. It's not, obviously this isn't gonna help them in the long run. You know, when you keep these things to yourself and you don't talk about it and you don't deal with it and you just, you, you just kind of bury your emotions and just kind of like, you know, shove things under the carpet or push them in the back of the closet or whatever you never deal with them and that's what's going on here it's like they think you know i'm fine right now if you know if i keep if i settle for these eight of cups these eight of cups you know it's fine i don't need nine of cups well like whatever i don't need ten of cups it's like what i don't know I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know. They got a lot. They got some shit to deal with. Anyways, anyways, that's all I have for you for today. Okay, Taurus. Um, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these readings, please like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day, and um, we're gonna move on. I lied. I'm not gonna move on yet. I forgot. I forgot to see where this is heading. <sighs> I didn't forget. I mean, I did, but then I remembered. Let's see, where is this energy heading in the near future? Okay. 
See, look, there's a reason why we look at these things. Oh, I see the light. That's nice. Somebody, I think, well, more for you, okay? I'm gonna say there is some sort of awakening here that could lead to some sort of closure here. Somebody might reach out. I think this is, honestly, it's probably more you. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just, it looks like there's some sort of, somebody's reaching out here to, you know, I just want to see something here to get some sort of clarity. It can, you know, this can be you, you know, judgment. Somebody here is just thinking about, and produce, it feels a lot like you, thinking about, you know, what do I need to do? to get some sort of closure here. I mean, maybe you might reach out to them. And I, I don't, I'm honestly, I don't know if it goes well or not, but it's like, it's like I need some sort of closure. That's what it looks like here to me. Just feeling, somebody's feeling called, yeah, to reach out because it's like, it's this four, four of pentacles. I don't know, I put the four of pentacles away, but it's this in the four of pentacles of not sharing their issues with the connection or their relationship issues. It can be your relationship issues or just issues that they have in relationships. There seems to be some sort of um, reconciliation energy about that here. You know, trying, yeah. Trying to be a little bit more hopeful here um, to get something out of it. So you may get some sort of closure. Now I'm going to say here, I'll be honest, I'm not going to sugarcoat things for you. I don't know if it will go the way that you want it to go. Closure means many different things. It's not always like what you want, but at least it's a feeling of I can close a chapter on this. So. You might you might you might get some sort of answers or something here I don't know okay all right now I really am done okay now we're really gonna move on <laughs> okay Gemini let's see this person's energy towards you what's going on This person is obsessively thinking about you. Like, you're the first thing they think of when they wake up. You're the last thing they think of before they fall asleep. And all the times in between, you're just there on their brain. In their mind. Okay? Thinking about this connection. The connection is just present. I think the, the more time that goes by the more stable this connection becomes. Maybe you might have noticed that, maybe. That as time goes on, the stability here of this connection, because it's something like, because here it says here, yeah, the connection can withstand more than you think. I think that as time goes by, it gets proven. It gets proven that there's this the connection is strong or something or stable, like, it's on um it has a staple foundation and i think as time goes on i think that that becomes more clear to this person there is a third party in here i don't know what that third party is but there's another energy that's interfering with your connection with this person um it can be you know it can be another like I'm not gonna lie, it can be like another romantic interest. Um, it can be friends, it can be family, it can be um, something that's going on with them. Like if they have uh, 
some sort of toxic behavior or something or some uh, baggage from their past that they haven't dealt with or healed it can be that as well there's something some sort of third energy here that is interfering with the connection but like i said over time i think this person sees that your connection the foundation that you have here is quite stable and it's quite strong that is one thing that i think this person is thinking about a lot they're thinking about how over time it's like your connection gets better but let's see let's see what's going on um just with them what is going on in their energy right now referring to hold on this is like somebody who is double checking before they initiate something um i don't know what that means i don't know what they're doing i don't know it's like they have to double check something before they start something i don't know what that is though i don't know specifically yeah before they start something again okay again getting a little bit more information it's like restarting something but taking that sort of being the, the first one to you know to strike first so they want to check they're double checking something before they take that first step here before they make that first strike in something um to start again to restart something here they do procrastinate a little okay they are a bit of a procrastinator this is something that it that uh, is delaying them here it can be the third party energy maybe this person's lazy okay that can be a third energy maybe they're just being really lazy like it's like I'm getting here like this is somebody that they know they need to double check things or they would prefer I should say prefer to double check things before they start something or before they restart something here um, before they get into something that they they've learned things about so um, I don't know what this is but like new game plus is just like in terms of gaming gaming terms new game plus is like you've you've played through a game and you kind of know what to expect but now you have the knowledge of you know what not to do in the game and what to do in the game so now when you play it again you retain this knowledge you retain your stats you retain um some sort of special perks and all that you know the things that you have learned um and you take that with you and you get to try again. You get to play again, but now you're playing with the knowledge. Um, I guess you can kind of think of it as like, I mean, I know there's lots of shows and movies and stuff where like somebody goes back in time, um, maybe when they were like a teenager or something and they get to like, oh wait, uh, never been kissed like that. You know, uh, you know, it has problems now, but anyways, premise is still sort of similar where Drew Barrymore's character she gets to go back to high school undercover as a reporter so she gets to sort of relive her high school years but with the knowledge that she knows now of being you know more confident in herself having more self-esteem and things like that that's what I'm getting from this person's energy it's like they get to go back they get to do something again but this time they have more experience they know things so it's it's not quite the same but they're being kind of lazy about it i feel like they're procrastinating it about it or they're putting it off in some way like delaying it okay all right, 
Let's see. Their energy towards you. How do they see you? Oh, they're very attracted to you. Ooh. Ooh, they see you like man with a plan. You don't have to be a man. It's just the king of wands. Um, they see you as somebody that if you want something, you're going to make a plan and you're going to execute that plan and you're going to get it. That's how they're seeing you right now. You're seeing somebody, they're seeing you as somebody that if you have a goal, you're going to achieve that goal because you're going to make a plan. They also see you as somebody who's very attractive, somebody who's taking a leadership role, somebody who's leading. Um, I don't know in what way, but... And it's very attractive. You're taking control. They see you as somebody who's taking control. That, you know, very sort of like influencer type of energy. Yeah, that you're making things happen almost. Like, they think that whatever's going on in your life, that you have good things going on in your life. Whether that's true or not, it's just their perception, okay? Yeah. They think that you're happy. They think that you're happy, that you got things going on in your life, that you have events, that you're going out and doing things. It doesn't have to be true. It's just their perception of you. Because they, th they think you're quite attractive. And it's kind of like, well, you're attractive. So to them, they're like, okay, Gemini, you're really attractive. So of course, of course, you'd be going out and doing things and having fun and enjoying yourself. That's how they see you. I don't know if that is the image that you are portraying to this person, but that is how they are seeing you. How do they feel towards you? Conflicted. They're conflicted. Why are they conflicted? They fight with themselves about how they feel. And, hmm, why is the hermit here? <laughs> okay, thank you. Wow. Uh, okay, I see. So, mm, they're conflicted here because they know how they should feel, right? And they know, like, the hermit is about we have experiences and we take from those experiences and we make, you know, choices for ourselves. This is where, you know, it's our wisdom, right? our own sort of personal wisdom, our own sort of um, whatever compass, right? Our moral compass and all that. And they're conflicted here about how they feel about you or towards you because it's like they should know better here, but they have these strong feelings for you. That's the thing. They have these strong feelings for you and you, you kind of make them do things that they don't really want to do in a sense. like. You kind of make them act in way like these feelings because they're so strong it makes them do stupid things in a sense like i mean you know how like they say love makes you do stupid things yeah that's kind of here and they kind of know this about you so it's kind of like they have these feelings for you but they're conflicted because it's like it makes me do stupid things the obsession right I was thinking about you. It can be that. It's like, I'm always thinking about you and then I can't concentrate on other things. And it's like, and it's like, they know that they shouldn't act this way, that they shouldn't, they shouldn't let their feelings control them like this. I get that here. You know, they do like feel like this is something that I shouldn't be doing. You know, I should know better. I'm old enough. I shouldn't be acting this way. It's a very immature energy. You know, maybe um, their feelings make them act irresponsible, like act in ways that they normally wouldn't act or something like that. Like the page of wands can be an annoying energy because, you know, he's there and then he's not. He's just really, you can't count on him for anything. He's not very reliable because it's like, you know, one moment he wants to do one thing and then he and then he, he's off doing another thing. And it's like, I get that. It's like they don't want to act like that anymore. I get that with death, that they're kind of done with that sort of immature energy. 
but the feelings that they have for you kind of make them go back into that sort of mindset here. Um, I think they're very like physically attracted to you. I think part of that is because they're very physically attracted to you and that like they do have feelings towards you, but it's just, I think it's like they go back to the sort of immature page of wands, sort of like fuck boy, fuck girl type of energy. It's like, I really like you. I'm really attracted to you. And it's like, kind of like, all I want to do is bang you type of energy. But I know like there's more to it than that. And I shouldn't like, it's like they're letting, you know, what's in between their legs kind of control them and they're like I, I yeah and they know that they shouldn't and that's why they're conflicted about their feelings here uh okay what are their intentions towards you why is it every time i ask the intentions i get a two you know what that means i don't know <laughs> twos twos are when we're trying to make choices trying to like balance things this is a two of wands um they're still trying to figure it out okay uh there are all these possibilities you know they don't really know exactly what they want but they know there are possibilities here with you uh, why do you yeah I was gonna say why because they do have feelings towards you okay but they would like to be in control of those feelings and that's the thing they want to be in control of those feelings they want to you know keep it in their pants basically around you they also want some sort of harmony here with you um they would like to even express this to you, like tell you you know how you, you make them feel crazy in a sense like in a good way like it's like they want they they would like to be able to share these things with you to share you know in a mature way that you know you make me crazy you know i'm so attracted to you and you make me crazy um here but without being sort of i guess too vulnerable i can get that here like they want to they want to have that sort of good sort of communication like socializing in terms of like you know how friends you know friends are good like that sort of good friendship base here where they can share with you how they're feeling and their opinions and stuff like that about this but they just don't really know how about how to go about that that's what i'm getting mm. what is this person's likely next actions towards you eh. Bye. Mm, I don't think that they're going to do to nothing really big here. Um, it seems that they're mostly going to stay in their sort of what they are comfortable doing, whatever that means to them here, and try not to get emotionally involved um, with you right now. Because like I said, they're conflicted about their feelings. You you drive them crazy. I'm not I'm not being like like whatever, hyperbolic here. I see it here. Like this person is really trying to get a hold of how you make them feel because they can't really control themselves around you. Um, in that way way. So I'm getting like they're trying to play it safe here. So if they're trying to play it safe um, with their emotions, they might not reach out to you. They might try to ignore you or they might actually ignore you or reject you here. It's because they're trying to find some balance here right now in their life because they're, they're trying to figure this out, right? But like I said, they seem to be in their life, like they're kind of lazy or something about like about that. Here. yeah but as time goes on I think that things kind of stabilize at least they see that it's stabilizing where's this energy heading in the near future
Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, I mean, it's actually quite good. Um, I think things are going to calm down. Or they're going to continue to calm. I feel like things are just going in a natural direction right now. Um, there might be some somebody might get an idea here um it can be um what's this judgment because this is this is a sudden this, well sudden it couldn't be just judgment here is like having a realization like an aha moment you know realizing something here from the past or something from before here this is an idea. Somebody's getting some sort of inspiration, some sort of idea. I'm going to say, you know, just let this play out. Because that's what it seems, what's happening anyways. It's just how this is playing out. Letting things play out. Go with the flow here. Um, things are just kind of going with the flow here. Um, and that is leading to some sort of inspiration moment to see something, to do something. I, I do want to know more about judgment, though. Why is judgment here? It's to see the things that are hidden in the dark or the things that somebody is hiding. The things that they don't know, the things that they don't speak about. Oh, both knights of uh, swords and wands are here in death. Okay, yeah, it, it, it might be them. It might also be you as well. It's like, How do I put this? Um, I don't know if somebody's doing something, but it does seem that it can push some sort of movement here with both the Knight of Swords and Wands here. Um, when somebody realizes something that they haven't been looking at, um, that they've left themselves in the dark about, um, it can inspire action is what I'm getting here, but it feels for the near future. It's mostly just about, you know, just going with the flow. I feel, you know, things are calm, you know, nothing, is, I wouldn't say there's something really panicky about this energy. Obviously we all have free will. So like, I mean, I would just say don't panic so much about what's going on here. I mean, I feel like the energy that's here, I've kind of, I've tried my best to sort of interpret it for you that maybe you might feel a little bit better if you were sort of panicking before um, here. Because I mean, I don't really see anything bad about their energy. It's just kind of slow because they haven't really figured out a plan of action this they might figure out a plan of action at some point but it is a one it is an ace and then we have a two we need we need to get there needs to be more okay <laughs> but it just feels like it's just starting okay all right that's what i have for you gemini um thanks for watching i uh if you enjoy these readings uh please like share or subscribe i appreciate it um I hope that you have a good day and we're going to move on. Okay, Cancer, I hope that you're doing well. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, it's kind of like an overcast. I'm hoping that the sun will come out. So, um, yeah, we'll see. I would turn on a light, but uh, I have a bit of a headache, so I don't know. We'll see. I, I apologize if it's kind of dark. Uh, usually it turns up a little brighter on camera, but let's see. Person on your mind. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, it seems that this person is not sure if they want to take some sort of risk here. 
Um, they're giving it some time here. They might have some boundaries with you, uh, whether they've said or shown you here. I'm getting like it feels like maybe they're keeping this connection at arm's length right now because they're just not really sure if they want to take a risk. I mean, taking risks, like it's a gamble, right? Um, they have some doubts here, okay? It seems. So, they're, I feel like it's kind of that sort of energy, like, I'm just going to see what happens. Like, I'm going to take things slow and maybe I'll feel more certain about things. Um, you know, it, it does say, say here, sometimes time is the best medicine and that's kind of what I'm getting here. This person seems to just kind of want to wait a little bit here before maybe they let down their guard or something along those lines. Let's see what's going on with them. Just in their energy. It could be traveling um, or like they could be away from home right now. Do you mind? Or they could be like away from people. Okay, yeah, it seems like they may be distancing themselves, like physically distancing, distancing themselves from people here, removing um, energies around them that aren't doing them any favors. That could be, you know, karmics and just people that, you know, are very negative, things like that. Yeah, I think they're just trying to get... What are they trying to get here? Wait. There's something extra. What is this? Okay, so they're trying to clear out shit in their life right now. Um, things that aren't really helping them. Uh, they could be going through some sort of like detoxing. Um, kind of phase. It doesn't have to be with people. It can also be like, you know, maybe somebody who's trying to quit smoking, um, trying to maybe drink less, exercise more, be more healthier. Um, I don't know, any sort of bad habits, I don't know, gambling less, I don't know. Um, something along those lines. So it's like they're trying to like, yeah, it, it just looks like they're trying to detox some things in their life right now. Um, cause it's, it, it's like, it's maybe it was getting to a point where it was getting too much for them. So they're like, I need to sort of get rid of this so I can have more things in my life. Cause you know, you, you, it's like, you really can only handle so much. So it's kind of like whatever on their plate, there's too many things on there that they don't like anymore or aren't enjoyable or just kind of, eh, like they're just negative. They're just gross. So they're just trying to get that off so they can make room on their plate for things, better things. Kind of like a spring cleaning or something. All right, let's see their energy towards you. How are they seeing you? Sevens. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Are you aware um, that they want to take things slow? Because cause it seems how they see you as somebody who's kind of patiently waiting here. Um, who's waiting. Maybe kind of confused, maybe not really sure what's going on, but waiting, wa waiting to make a move here. 
um, they do think that you may be looking at other options right now because it's like, well, maybe you're like, you're not going to wait for just them. So they might think that you're looking at other options, um, you know, to focus on some sort of love, romantic interest here. But the main energy here is that it's like, they think that you feel like you have to wait probably for them because they're, they're not ready. Right. This person is attracted to you. Um, they feel a very strong connection to you that they think it's best not to vocalize, not to talk about. Um, here I get it pains them not to really do or say anything about this. Like they're attracted to you. Part of that is because they feel on some level like you guys are connected. Like, um, yeah, just, I'll just say a very strong connection. It's a, you know, generalizing way to say that here. They've thought about this. It's not like just on a whim kind of thing. This is something that um, they've thought about and they've come to the conclusion that this is a strong connection. They don't want to make a mess of things here. I feel like this is why they're being kind of cautious because again, it would be a risk for them. It would be a big gamble for them to go forward here with you, probably because of how they feel towards you. Cause it's kind of like, well, what if it doesn't work out? Right? What if it doesn't work out? I would be crushed here. It would affect me emotionally. Um, on a very deep level here. Uh, so they don't really know what they want to do. They're very, they're very conflicted here on what they want to do. It, it feels like it's like, you know, you know, what does it say? No guts, no glory kind of thing. But it's also like, if it all, like, there's just the, the little bit of doubt. And that doubt is what basically scares them, what holds them back. Because it's like, if it doesn't work out, if it all goes to shit, this is the tower in reverse. If it all goes to shit, it's going to hurt so much because they feel the very strong connection to you, but they don't know what to do about it. Cause it's kind of like, you know, if you don't do anything, then you don't get anything. It's like, would that also hurt? Probably. So I don't know. They're very conflicted here on what they should do because they don't want to be hurt. They don't want this 10 of swords and the moon. They don't they don't want to feel this emotional pain. I mean, I don't blame them for that, but at this point, they don't seem to know what they want to do here. Like I said, they're just kind of waiting, waiting it out. <laughs> um Yeah, it's the Four of Swords. I was wondering what are their likely next actions towards you. They're probably not going to say anything about any of this. Nah, <laughs> there's the devil. Yeah, no, they're not going to say anything about this. Yeah, they're just going to think about it. But I don't see them saying anything. Let's see, where's this heading? Where's this energy heading? In the near future. I'm not 
picking that up. It's <clears throat> more Six of Swords. It's the same as, or is it this? Okay, so just two cups in reverse. It's up to them whether they want to do something here or not, right? It feels like ball is in their court here. I will say, I mean, it is minor arcana. It, it is in flux, you know, it is up to their free will. They can do whatever they want, but it does seem where this energy is likely going is they're probably going to put some distance here or there, or you'll feel some distance between the two of you. Like you won't feel as close. Like you won't feel close to this person emotionally, physically. They might not, you guys might not hang out for a little bit. Um, they might act disinterested and all that. It's really up to them what they want to do here. I know it all feels really backwards. It's like, okay, if they feel the strong connection and all that, you know, if, ignoring it, like wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be more painful? Um, you know, to some people, no, it's not. Some people, they feel like they can handle that they can handle not having something rather than having something and then losing it. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Um, it is up to them. Tell me more about this two of wands. There is potential here, but it is really up to them. Yeah, they got to think about it. If they can get out of their head, um, yeah, if they can get out of their head, they're being really cautious here, right? They're taking things really slow. If they can get out of their head, then yeah, you know, maybe they can make a decision here and figure out something um, to do here. But it kind of seems in the foreseeable, foreseeable future, I don't really see a whole lot. Sorry. But, okay. I'm just here to tell you what I see interpret what is here okay that's what i have for you cancer um thanks for watching if you enjoyed these readings uh, please like share subscribe i really appreciate it i hope that you have a good day and we're going to move on okay leo i hope that you're doing well here let's see what's going on with the person that's on your mind what's their energy like towards you I will say however you feel towards them, they also feel towards you. Like the feelings are mutual. Whatever those feelings are, I don't know what they are, but they are mutual. Mm, they're scared, so I guess if you're feeling scared about this connection, then so are they. Um, but yeah, somebody, they are scared here. Mm, what are they trying to manifest? What is this? Oh, what? Is that sex change? Maybe. Possibly. I'm not ruling that out. There could be something like that here. Okay, um. Yeah. This person feels a spark here with you. They, they're they afraid of, of making something happen here. They feel very strong, like, like, they're just like, they're sparks. I'm just getting sparks. Like, they feel a very strong bond to you. Um, that kind of scares them. Because it might make them want to do something here about it but they're afraid to do something. I won't lie. Um, if this isn't your story, then, you know, don't apply it, but there could be some sort of, um, I don't know if it's confusion over like, but something maybe about like sexual preferences 
here. Um, like, uh, I'll just like, like maybe not their usual or no preference, whatever that is to them. Something like that, perhaps. If not, then the way that they sort of desire um, that sort of like intense sort of like sexual energy here, um, it's it it's different. There's something different about it. I don't know. I don't really know what that means, I'll be honest. That seems kind of specific, but there's just something different about... Sorry, I'm just like, is there a crack in this? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want like there to be a crack in the glass because then I'll have to throw it out. Um, yeah, there's just something different. I don't know. I'm not going to dive too much into that because I don't really know what that is. And it's out of the scope of the reading. They could be confused, maybe? I don't know. I don't, it doesn't feel like confusion. It just feels like not the norm. So like if somebody is like a little, like, you know, maybe, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to like put into like <laughs> what people's preferences are. Like maybe they don't have one really and they go by soulmates. It can be that. You know, they just go by how they feel, you know. I don't know. Let's see, um, what's their energy like? I know this is like the daily grind, you know, going to work, getting that bag of money. Hmm. Taking initiation. Oh, I see. Who is that? What is that? Okay. It's nice. Yeah, okay. I see. So, this person right now, um, they're pretty focused on their work, really. I mean, they're just kind of living their daily life, going through, um, going to work, making some money here. They seem to be taking some steps here into getting rid of people um that are being toxic um it can be friends family just people around them here um it doesn't seem to be taking that much of a toll on them to be honest i i, I mean i don't know if that's just who they are or it's just easy to for them to get rid of people in their lives that are just being toxic assholes um they're just it's just easy for them to get rid of them, perhaps, here. Um, it can also be maybe it's just easy because uh, they have a support group. Like, they have people, like friends, family that aren't toxic that they can talk to. Um, or it's just, you know, it's easy to get rid of people in your life that are being toxic if you already have, you know, I'm getting like they might have at least three people that they feel really close to or at least two people that they feel really close to so it's like they don't feel like they they need to have that type of energy around them so it's kind of like quality over quantity for this person okay let's see what their energy is like towards you They see you as somebody who's quite traditional, that you maybe have traditional values or you have boundaries or something here. Uh, you're probably at a distance from them, maybe long distance here. They think you're quite honest. Oh, maybe honest about how you feel about things. Um, you could be new 
to this person, a new connection here as well. They might not know you very well, but what from what they can tell, they, you seem to be somebody who stands by their values. Whatever it is that you believe in, you stand for that here, like strong moral values or something. Um, um, on, maybe you're religious and they think that you're religious and that you, you know, follow your religion or something like that. Um, or a certain sort of spiritual practice. Maybe you say you meditate every day and, and that's, you know, that they think that way about you. Um, yeah, I do think you're probably at a distance though. person feels like they want to talk to you um they f or they feel like they can talk to you perhaps because you seem to have things figured out for yourself or you seem to just be like like okay where you are in life whether that's true or not but this person just kind of like they feel like they can tell you things here. Oh, even things that maybe they've been guarded with other people about. They just have this feeling like that they can tell you things. Um, it's like almost like they feel drawn to tell you things that they wouldn't tell other people. Like if they are dealing with some sort of like challenges or things like that. Yeah, it could be with relationships, relationships in their life or just things that are going on in their life. Like they feel like they can talk to you about these things. Um, that they could be open with you about them. This person, I feel like, wants to show you that they can be a leader. You know, they want to show you that they can take the lead here and that they can be in control of their feelings. Almost getting like they want to show off to you. Like they want to show you that I'm mature. You know, I want to show you, like they want you to be attracted to them. So like they, they want to kind of show off a little bit here. Um, I guess peacock a little here for you. Um, they, they especially want you to see that they are emotionally mature in some way here. I don't know if they are, but they want, you know, they want you to see that here. Um, it kind of feels like a fantasy, like, this is part of their fantasy here that they've been thinking about. Yeah. Yeah, I think that they think of I think about they that they they sort of fantasize about this. Um probably more often than they would like to admit. There's this sort of like they think about the what ifs, like what if you were attracted to me? What if you saw that, you know, I'm really kind and friendly in that I care about other people. 
I don't know if this is who they are. I just get that they want to be like this and they want you to see this. I mean, I will give them that they probably have some sort of emotional immaturity because of their energy from what I saw. They are able to cut out things from their life that are kind of toxic. And they seem to have at least a couple people around them that are really close to them, perhaps, that they trust. So, yeah, maybe. likely to do next here um they might offer you something here they might give you something i'm gonna say if they give you something there are there possibly are some strings attached to it seven of swords is underneath um it's not it's it's not like What's the word? It's not like, um, it's not what it seems exactly. Like, I'm, I'm not saying like, oh, if they buy you something, they expect you to buy them something back. I don't know. There's, there's some sort of expectation that might be on it. Let me just see why. Yeah. They, it's part of a plan here with the magician. Yeah, the page of swords and the magician. It's not like there's a, there's an offer here. They might give you something, offer you something here. It's it is part of their plan here. Um, there there is something else going on. I don't know what their plan is. Um, it's it's probably part of this here because these are their intentions. So it's probably part of showing that they're a good guy, that they're a nice guy or girl, whatever. It's, it's a lot of masculine energy here. All right, let's see where this energy is heading in the near future. That's interesting. Hmm. Mm. It's the same thing that I just said. They're gonna try to show you that they're a nice person. Just know that there's some manipulation involved, okay? I'm not saying that they're not a nice person, but it's like they're not letting their actions speak for themselves. They're trying to almost like force it. Like, I don't know, like getting their friends or something to tell like you that, oh my gosh, you know, they're so nice. Like the other day, like they saved these kids from a burning building or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like they might like try to like, um, build them up a little too much or something along those lines like it just seems like it just feels like they're just gonna try a little too hard here or you know like they're just not letting their actions speak for themselves here like i said i i mean i don't know if they are not a good person that i mean that's i guess for you to sort of figure out because it is a general reading, right? But yeah. Yeah, it can be confusing. 
you might actually get be more confused at them trying to sort of show you that they're a nice guy you actually might end up being a little bit more confused here wondering you know what's what's the real what's real what's not what's real you know what's truth what's fiction here um yeah just use your intuition that's what i get all right that's what i have for you leo um thanks for watching if you enjoy these readings, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day, and we're going to move on. Okay, Virgo, I hope that you're doing well. Let's see what's going on here with the person on your mind. No idea what these are. <laughs> Stability, acceptance, mirroring, friendship. Okay. So the way that they're seeing your connection here right now, um, you guys are very likely friends at the very least. They feel like I get like they feel like this connection isn't going anywhere, possibly because you guys are friends. I don't know how close you are, but they at least feel like this is a connection that probably isn't going to go anywhere. Um, however you're feeling about the connection, they're probably feeling. So if you're feeling like you have a strong friendship, or at least you have a strong foundation here, then they very likely feel the same way here. Um, this might not have been something that they felt before, um, but it seems like there is just this sort of, I accept that this connection is going to be in my life. Is there something like, something like that? Like, I accept that this connection, um, isn't going anywhere, really. Um, I mean, obviously everybody's got free will, but for the most part, they feel like it's probably not going to go anywhere, um, at the very least because there's this friendship foundation here, that sort of base of loyalty on at least that level. Okay. Let's see what's going on in their energy. not being um what's it called like they're being a little fake to some people like they're not being their their genuine selves to people they're not showing who they are to the people around them um they're being kind of deceptive here Ooh. okay um yeah if they're with somebody if they're in a relationship with somebody um they are not showing their true self to that person like they're they're lying to that person if they're in a relationship with somebody they are straight up lying to that person i don't know what they're lying about um but they are not they are hiding something about themselves from that person they're they're um pretending on some level here um they're trying to i don't know it looks like they're they're looking for help with this whatever if this connection not your connection but with somebody else here it feels very strongly that this person is with somebody else um that they're in another like they're in a relationship with somebody but they seem to i'm getting with resme and extra life it's like 
It's like almost feeling reborn. There's something about this person. I don't know. They feel like they've gotten a second chance. And they feel reborn here. Um, that they're looking for. They're trying to get some sort of help here. Uh, something to do with this relationship. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't know and I wouldn't even look that further that much further because it's out of the scope of the reading because it's it's their shit. It's only coming up here because it's something for you that the universe wants you to know, but like I don't normally look too deeply into things like that. All I can tell you is that they're lying to them. And they feel like a new person. Like they feel reborn in some way here. New lease on life or something like that. You've been given a second chance. Okay. Um, let's see their energy towards you. Well, um, they think that you're being pretty generous here, um, that you seem to be in control of things in your life and yourself, that you seem to, I wouldn't say like know where you're going, but like you just seem to have a handle on things, like whatever comes your way, you'll be able to kind of handle it. That's how they see you here. Um, but they do think that you're hiding some sort of heartache here. Um, that this sort of, this emperor can be a little bit of a cover up that it's like, okay, yeah, you can handle things and all that, but you know, they think that maybe there's some sort of third energy here that you're hiding that you are dealing with and that you're not sharing here um i don't know why i say hiding there's something here that shows but it, it feels like you're hiding they think that you're hiding it it could be that somebody is messing with you um it doesn't have to be a one person it could be a couple people like they think like that thing that maybe you're a little hurt because there are just people around you that are just being assholes but you're, I, I, it is important for me to tell you that the emperor is before all that. So they do think that you'll be, that you're able to handle these things. That maybe you are putting a bit of a front on, but they do think that you're strong enough to handle it. And that they do think that you're quite generous and giving here, um, that you give to people, I guess like in need, in the sense that but they do think that maybe somebody or some people are taking advantage of you. Maybe taking advantage of your generosity. Even though they do think that you can handle yourself. Okay. Oh, there's the hidden. I was like, why did I say hidden? Yeah, there it is. The moon. Um, okay. What else? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, it's weird, but it's not that weird. So, this person, they go back and forth on how they feel about you. Mostly because you're a little, like, I guess you could say too good to be true. Like, you are somebody that they would like to be with. You know they you know like i said they think that you're quite generous that you're you're quite you're quite giving and you seem to be able to handle yourself um in situations and they kind of like that about you they like that you seem to have a good head on your shoulders here um but they go back and forth on this 
Um, it can be something in their past, maybe. Um, perhaps. I don't really know why they're going back and forth on this. Because it's like, they're not sure how they should feel towards you because you seem to be, you know, an ideal partner. I just want to see why. Oh, maybe they don't think that you would feel the same way about them. That, you know, like, it's like, okay, they go, like, they think that, oh, you're an ideal partner, but they're like, well, I don't know if I could be, if I can match that level, if I could be on your level here. I don't know if, if you know, we're on the same page here. Um, yeah. You do seem very familiar to them. They feel something familiar here, or you just have um, a history. Like I said, the way they see your connection, you do have some sort of solid friendship here. So I do feel you guys have a history here and they do feel that here. They do feel there's some sort of, um, you know, there's love here, that sort of unconditional type of love here like there's no real strings attached to this here they are attracted to you that is here on, on a lesser level but like it's 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 after all this but it is here sort of to point out that you know they do they do want to do things with you um yeah <laughs> They do feel a sense of passion towards you. Every time I ask for intentions, I get twos. I can't make up my mind. I don't really know what I want to do here. Uh, why? Because my feelings. My feelings. I don't know how to handle my feelings. Are they real feelings or not? Ah, I don't know if I can be this king of coins for you. I don't know if I feel mature enough for this. Hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing though, their likely next actions towards you are to have some sort of conversation here that maybe explains something to you with the world here. Some sort of pushing things in a forward moving direction here. Um, I'm getting like clarity to get some sort of clarity. I mean, the world is closure, right? accomplishment they want to accomplish something here with a conversation or with an action towards you it could be an apology or they could offer you something here offer you some sort of I'm getting like a deal make you some sort of deal okay where's this energy heading in the near future No, that's good. That's very good. That's okay. Yeah. Um, I feel like you're gonna get some clarity here about something. I don't know what, because it does seem like this person's likely next actions are to say something to you or do something here, talk to you about something to get some sort of closure in something here. I'm, like I said, it feels like making you some sort of deal or some sort of offer here. Um, I feel like there is some sort of decision that is being made here. Um, maybe it can just be maybe the decision to lay everything out and be transparent about things here. Um, I'm getting fresh start here. I also, I mean, this is the seven of wands, but it does remind me of an ace of wands too. 
as well. Um, just somebody that's just standing up for themselves here. And it's like, hey, you know what? I have something I want to say. I have something I want to say here and I'm going to say it. Taking a leap of faith here. Honestly, I, I, that's what it feels. I would not be surprised if this person came up to you and just tells you something because... They're just gonna, they're just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna tell you this. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. There's some sort of action here. Now, the, the funny thing is, is that when it comes to their, to their intentions, they haven't quite made up their mind. And same with their feelings. They keep going back and forth on how they feel towards you. So I actually have no idea what they would be telling you and being transparent to you about what is the sun here oh if they've been ignoring you yeah okay if they've been ignoring you if they've been acting disinterested or even maybe if they've rejected something here it seems like they're going to explain themselves justice i need to make something right i need to explain something here it could have to do um with that deceiving energy here because the weird thing is they're deceiving somebody around them or people around them but i get here they do not want to hide things from you they want to be very open and transparent here with you not with not with the other not with the other energies around them but with you i i get that they they do even though they they're not sure about what it is that they want or how they feel but like I said, you guys have a, a foundation of friendship here. So they probably feel, they feel like they can trust you on some level. So yeah. Okay. I mean, sometimes that's all you need. All right. That's what I have for you, Virgo. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed these readings, please like share or subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that you have a good day and we're going to, we're going to move on. Okay, Libra, I hope that you're doing well. Let's see what's going on with the person that is on your mind. Okay. Um. They do feel like your connection is healing for them and they've accepted that there's something about this connection. I'm getting like learning some lessons here or something. There's something that is healing for them about this connection here. Um, when it comes to communication, they feel that it's probably the communication that they get from, or yeah, that they get from this connection maybe is not exactly what they want, but it's what they need. Honestly, I probably you pro guys probably aren't talking cuz I'm cuz it kind of feels like yeah, there isn't really any communication here um and that this person has accepted that maybe no communication is helping them heal in some way that this that it's healing for them um or that it's helping them to recover in some way. It's very like four of swords, you know, four of swords is silence and no communication, but it's like taking a break, you know, healing, recharging, things like that. Um, that's how they're seeing this connection. So that's why I'm like, I don't think you guys are talking. Um, yeah, I mean, I do feel 
there's a strong connection here they feel at least that but it's just maybe like now it's just not the time to talk they and i feel like they've accepted that that now is more of a time for healing than for talking or communicating all right let's see what's going on in their energy briefly Okay. Oh. It doesn't feel like they're ignoring somebody here. It feels like somebody's ignoring them. That they have a connection here with somebody else and that person isn't talking to them. That's what that feels like. I think that they are trying to, they're putting in effort here, maybe to get this person to talk to them. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so this person, I, I mean, I, I, can't, I won't be able to go further because it's out of the scope of the reading because it's, it's not you, it's involving somebody else around them. They have somebody here around them. Um, it can be another relationship or just somebody that they're close to that isn't talking to them. And I get them like trying to sort of, I don't know what you want to call it, like coaxing them to talk to them, like trying to give them things here. Maybe they even send them money or they give them gifts here or something along those lines. Um, maybe because they want them to talk to them. Um, like they're just trying to give them more, more than they normally would, or more than what other people, more than giving more maybe attention than they would to other people, to whatever this connection is. I'm sorry, that could be triggering um, because I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, it seems like right now this is what they want. Okay. All right, let's see your energy. What's their energy towards you? Okay, um, I'm gonna warn you again. Maybe this is kind of triggering. I mean, I mean, that is sort of with tarot readings, really, well, at least with me, because I will be honest with you. You know, just be mindful of that if you can't. I feel if you can't handle any answer, like when you ask tarot a question, if you can't handle any answer that then maybe you shouldn't be watching tarot i'm just saying okay because i'm going to tell you that this person um they think that you play mind games whether you do or not um something like that like think that you're kind of like you're kind of shady here in some way here um yeah that maybe you're kind of immature as well um they also think that you're working on something away from them like they think that you are putting efforts into something new I mean, they are kind, you know, they are disappointed um, by this. It's not like that they're not, but they, yeah. 
Why is this five of swords here? Oh, they could think that you're a little superficial here, maybe entitled to something here. Um, this seems to be on second thought, so I don't think this is what they thought at first. Um, but it seems to be, it's like in hindsight. It's like in hindsight, they think that maybe you're kind of superficial here, or, you know, you just wanted your sort of needs being met or something along those lines, something like that. I don't think this is, this is how they thought initial, uh, initially, why can't I say that? <laughs> why they thought what they thought at first, but it just seems like in hindsight. Okay. Let's see what else? They feel like they need to protect themselves against you against your energy like they have to be like sort of the bouncer the bodyguard here to their feelings I don't know what that was yeah they feel kind of free here free from your energy they feel like they you know they they're doing what's best here for them like they've thought about this, they've thought about how they feel, they're still thinking about it. But I get a strong sense of unrestricted feeling, some sort of freedom here. Every time, what are intentions to? I don't know. I'm not entirely. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I feel like this person, they haven't fully decided if they want to sort of cut off this connection. I'll put it that way because I do feel they've put distance here, but it's like they might come back. You know, it's like they might decide to come back. Because the Six of Swords is temporary. It's like, okay, temporary, I left a situation because I didn't like the situation. You know, I, I left for calmer waters, but it it feels temporary. Like, they could come back if they, like, take a different path here. It's up to them. Yeah, they just, they want to be mature about the whole thing. You know, they... they I'm getting like they want to be successful um, here, you know, in their life. Like, I'm getting like they want to, I guess you could say win, you know, they want to be the one who's on top. Um... Oh, sorry. All right, I do want to know. Oh, okay. I was like, what are their likely next actions? The tower. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Eh. Yeah, I. Six of Cups. Uh, they may. The tower's not that great. They might burn a bridge here with you. Yeah, maybe. If they do anything here. It is because of some sort of potential happiness here. Um, it's a six of cups. Nine of Wands in reverse. Um, yeah. They could be, I, I guess you could say, giving up on some sort of past way of 
thinking about a ten of cups relationship here it could be about you you know they might burn a bridge here because you know in the past maybe they thought you guys could have this ten of cups the happily ever after but with the nine of wands in reverse you know maybe they're just kind of giving up on that idea for now I'm sorry let me see where is this heading in the near future I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not making shit up, right? I just interpret what is given to me. Death, Eight of Cups, the High Priestess. Then we have the King of Wands underneath. I don't really see anything happening here. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I know this is it's not a positive reading for you if this if this is what you want if you wanted something here with this person which I assume that you do because if you're thinking about this person then maybe you do I don't know I feel like most people most people when they're thinking about somebody and they look at a tarot reading they want good news um but yeah I don't know I just see that this is there's, I mean, these are two, they're the same energies, death and the eight of cups, moving on, leaving something behind, it's not the way it was before, moving on from that energy here. I do get with the high priestess, there's a little bit of pretending, um, like acting like, like not aware of what's going on, but being fully aware of it, also with that king of wands, I get that as well, you know, somebody putting on a brave face. Putting on a brave face, um, just pretending that it doesn't bother them, that they're not aware of it. That could be you, that could be them, that could be both of you. Um, so it doesn't feel like this will be very clear to you, but, or to, like, it, it doesn't feel like it's like clear but it seems to be there's this writing on the wall that you know somebody has moved on and they're just not really acknowledging it and just kind of even pretending that yeah that may be just not yeah it just seems like not acknowledging it okay well I mean, I'm sorry, I wish I had better news for you, um, but there's something healing about this, right? For them, they see that. I think that goes for you as well. Something to be learned here, something to heal from. You know, what? I, I mean, nothing is set in stone, of course. Things can change. Over time, of course, people change, and, uh, and energy changes. So I'll just say that, but right now, yeah, I, I don't really see like any sort of reconciliation or anything like that. Okay. All right. That's what I have for you, Libra. Um, thanks for watching. I know you probably didn't enjoy this reading, but <laughs> um, if you feel inclined um, to, you can like, share, or subscribe if you found something useful here or, or perhaps... Um, I do appreciate that. I do hope that you have a good day and that things are better for you. And um, we're going to move on. Okay, Scorpio. I hope that you're doing well. Let's see what's going on. The person on your mind. to go this way. 
Okay, let's just start here and we'll go through it. So, this person, you guys are probably, um, I do think you guys are communicating here because of what's following. Um, uh, I think that they're very attracted to how you're communicating or what you're communicating. So if you're saying things to this person, they find that very attractive. Um, they're very attracted to anything that like you say or send to them or show them here. Which way was this? Which way did I say? Anyways, yeah, I guess it was going this way. Yeah, they feel like there's something very stable about this connection here. Very flirty type of energy. Like I said, you know, they are attracted to you. They're attracted to this here. I don't know what this regret is. They are, they do feel bad about something here. I don't think it's about the flirting. Yeah, there's something that they've been thinking about that they have this focus on. There's something that is that they're disappointed in with this connection. I do feel there is this sort of determination to keep things going. So if you guys are very flirty and um you know, like I said, it's like how maybe how you're flirting. They're very attracted to that. I think they do want to keep that going. They're very determined to keep that going. But there is something here that they're feeling bad about. Maybe are they not returning the flirting back? Because they are feeling sort of regretful about perhaps how they behaved in some way here and they're looking back like in hindsight maybe i should have acted differently perhaps but i do get here they do want to continue this connection here with you so it's like they're very attracted to to the connection here and all that but i'm getting they have some sort of regret here with you and this connection and i i, I you know they want to keep it going okay Let's see what's going on with them. What's going on with our energy? Oh, frustration. What are they frustrated about? Same shit. Okay, it's just the same shit in their life that they're just annoyed with. Just, I don't know, they just keep getting hit with the same shit over and over again in their life, whatever that is. Yeah. It's like, just something is always going wrong, I feel, in this person's life, and it's just, it's like, it's like one thing after another. It's like, okay, one thing happens, and they deal with that and then after that another thing happens and they have to deal with that and it's just it's just yeah it's just they're always they just feel like they're they're just always failing can have to do with money maybe they don't have a lot of money it's like they have plans they they would like to do things but it's like they never have enough money um, or enough resources to do it um, they might not even have enough energy to do it, um, or they don't put in enough energy, like, it's like, uh, how, was, how do I explain? It's, it's like, they know where they want to go, like, they know what their goals are, they just don't really know how to get to those goals. Like, not that they don't know how to get to them, they just don't have the resources to get to those goals. It's kind of like, you know, I want to go somewhere. Um, but I don't have money for the gas to get there. Kind of that sort of thing that's going on here. Um, so it just feels like it's always, it's just, there's always something. So they're quite frustrated here, um, it seems, with their life right now. 
Okay. All right, let's see what their energy is like towards you. Well, they think that you seem to be doing okay in life right now, whether that's true or not. They think that you like to spend some time on your own, um, that you're a bit of a loner or you just like to be on your own here. I'm getting a very independent vibe. Um, so they just think that you like to do things on your own, <laughs> spend time on your own here. What is this devil about? Oh. They think that when it comes to having things go your way, it's like you have this sort of hang up that it has to go your way. Um, they could think you're a little bit of a control freak here that, it, you know, if it doesn't go your way, then I don't know. You get, yeah. Especially, yeah. I think that. I get a bit of impatience here, so it's kind of like this is like a delayed opportunity, right? Or a missed opportunity. It's like if you want something, it's like if you want an opportunity at something, it's like you feel like you could get it. This is how they're viewing you, okay? Remember? It's like they think that if you want an opportunity at something here, you know that you can get that. The king of wands he's very arrogant in that respect in that it's like oh if i know i want something i know i can totally get it it seems to be a little a little bit of um your i guess your achilles heel kind of thing here they might think that you're a little arrogant and that you know you expect to get the things that you want when you want it i don't no, I'm gonna be honest, the way that feels, I don't think they think it's a bad thing. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like a bad thing. It almost feels like this is a flaw that they somewhat admire a little bit here. It, it, it comes across as you know how, you know, what's that saying like when people are like, oh, girls are always attracted to the bad boys or guys are attracted to the bad girls. It kind of feels like that. Like it kind of like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like it kind of feels like it turns them on a little bit that you're like this, that you're a little arrogant. You're a little cocky about things here. Cause it doesn't feel bad to me. Like it's not like, oh, but they, you know, they're a 10, but they have this thing. No, I think that they actually gonna like it a bit. <laughs> That's what it feels like. All right. Ooh. When it comes to their feelings, though, they do got their guard up here. Yeah, they do have deep feelings here for you, but they got their guard up. Ooh, they got her up real high. Real high. Why? I wanted to know why they have their guard up. Something ended for them before and it really took a mental toll on them. So this is why they have their guard up. Okay. Makes sense. Why the three of swords? I, I get with the six of wands, they, you know, they want some sort of victory here with you. Um, they also want your attention. They want, it's like they f would feel victorious if they had your attention. I'm getting your soul attention. Like, if they were the only person that you had eyes for, they it's like they want that. They want a victory in that. 
Why is this three of swords here though? Obviously they don't want a three of swords, but Oh, wait a sec. Okay. There seems to be some distance that was put perhaps in this connection here that had to do with a third party or with some friends. Um, something here. It seems like they kind of want to, I guess you could say heal that in some way. Um, uh, it's like they kind of want to put that behind them. Whatever this Three of Swords represents, it's like, I think somebody ran away. Uh, they may, they may have, did this person run away from you, from this connection? For something else? For another person? For some friends or something here? Um, I kind, I get here that they want to, I wouldn't say fix it, but like they want to heal that. If they hurt you because they ran away, I get like they, it's, it's like they want, yeah, it's not fixing, it's just healing. I guess you could call it that way. I'll just say fixing because that's the easiest way I can put it. Yeah, they do. Uh, just, you know, be wary though. I am getting, they will do whatever it takes with the magician and the seven of swords. I don't think you really know the sort of what they will do for this connection. Because it does seem here that they are willing to bend the rules here that they're willing to do to be a little sneaky here and do things without telling you here in order to get your attention in order to have your undivided attention weird well it's not weird but like um, I wanted to see what are their likely next actions here. Um, they might talk to you, um, a little bit here. You know, they might express a little bit of how they feel, but a lot of it they're holding back. They're holding back so much here, um, that it might not even really feel like anything, to be honest, because it probably will feel like most of it is them sort of you know keeping an emotional distance from you <laughs> it just kind of feels like they'll be mostly um maybe disinterested here um but there's just this little bit this little page of cups here <laughs> that maybe that pay attention to the page of cups pay attention to like maybe how they say things i don't know um because I get like there's a lot of restraint on their part. Like I said, they got their guard way up here when it comes to their feelings. So they are holding back a lot here and they might even just act like they're disinterested and bored towards you. But there is a little bit here with this page of cups. The page of cups, sometimes he can't help it. He can't help it when he feels a certain way and that he might say some things or do some things. Um, that go a little bit opposite to this so, you know somebody's trying to hide how they feel you know trying to restrain themselves but you know page of cups can't really help it he can't really help it so yeah a little bit of it might leak out because page of cups can't help it he can't he can't keep that he can't keep everything inside okay just be aware the page of cups can be kind of immature so like what i mean is that if you start giving attention to somebody else, they might start acting jealous or something like that. And then it's like, it's like, why are you so jealous? Or like, why are you acting like that? That's what I mean. Okay. <laughs> when I say it's like, they can't really help it kind of thing. Like if you mentioned like, 
if you mention being attracted to another person, you know, they might say like, yeah, well, like, like they're not that good looking or whatever or something like they might like say some, they might insult that person or something because you've said that they were attracted or you know what I mean? All right. Um, let's see, where's this energy heading in the near future? New start? Oh, okay. Ace of Pentacles, the Fool, the High Priestess. Oh, and there's another Ace. That's actually very promising. New beginnings. Um, the only problem I have with this is that High Priestess. <laughs> you might not be aware of it the both of you might not actually be aware of it but you guys are like in a new cycle here this is a new cycle here i get a new fresh new beginning here for this connection that i don't even think the two of you are aware of there is a restart here there is a golden opportunity here a fresh start, a restart, golden opportunity here. I just don't even think that neither one of you are really aware of it. You know, you probably won't be aware of it until after the fact, until like in hindsight, you look back and you're like, yeah, that was a brand new start. That was a fresh start. That was where, you know, things started. You probably won't realize it when it happens. It could have already happened, to be honest. And you could be right now going, oh yeah, no, yeah, it is kind of like a new thing. Yeah. It, this is all very positive. I like this because it's like a clean slate starting over. A clean slate here. Um, so much potential. So, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is potential for um, things to grow and, in a very stable way here to bring a lot of stability and... Um, comfort really and security here you know the ace of wands also is very promising as well you know new ideas new motivations inspiration and of course yeah the fool the fool anything can happen you know the road is is wide ahead all right um, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these readings, uh, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day, and we're going to move on. Okay, Sagittarius. Hey, I hope that you're doing well. Let's see what's going on with the person that's on their mind. you guys it might not be okay there's a lot of what is all this it's not bad none of this is bad it's just kind of um not quite there you know like it feels like it's close but it's not quite there cuz it's like okay there's romance in the air. Um, they do like you in a romantic way, but I think that it's just friends right now. Cause that separation, it doesn't feel like no contact completely. Maybe there's just a little bit, maybe there isn't a lot. Cause it says there may be a little or no contact. I don't think it's strictly none. I think there's a little, like maybe you guys, Every once in a while, you talk to each other. Um, maybe like check in kind of thing. Um, like it reminds me of, you know, 
when you live in the same building as somebody and every once in a while you bump into them on the elevator. It feels kind of like that. Okay. Okay. Um, this self-love actually feels more about you than them, but I do feel like they are, um, you know, taking care of themselves. But I, th it feels like the more you take care of yourself, the more attractive that is to them. Um, I don't know. Just like the more that you kind of like seem to be doing well, you know, if you have a very positive attitude or like, you know, maybe every time just, I'm just saying like, cause it feels like bumping um, into each other on the elevator or something. If you're, if you're in the same building, it's like every time they bump into you, you seem to have this sort of glow, like, um, like you seem to be happy, uh, very positive, well put together, you know, you don't look like you're in shambles or anything like that, um, all of that. So that's what this feels like. I don't, I feel like there is little contact between the two of you, but the contact that they do have with you, you know, you seem to be doing well and they feel that spark there, but I do feel, um, it, it can be in a bit of a friend zone and I also feel that there is a solid friendship here as well. But I, I don't know. You know, take take what resonates uh, with you because it feels spread out. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me see what their energy is like. What's going on with them? What is their energy like? Yeah. Twos, twos. This person might be dealing with um, a situation again for the second time or something that just keeps coming back around that just keeps boomering back to them. Um, sure. Yeah. Probably with friends. Um, hmm. I feel like this person is trying to get better at something that they feel that they're not very good at. Like they're trying to improve themselves here. I think that they're trying to be consistent in this. Um, I think they've tried again. Think of it kind of like, you know, somebody who tries to quit smoking and they're not successful the first time and, you know, they know they shouldn't smoke. So they try again. It feels kind of like that. It doesn't have to be smoking, obviously. It's just, that's what it feels like. Because I get a lot of, like, these three here are just like, I keep trying. I keep trying to do something. It has to do with self-improvement. I keep trying. I keep failing. I keep trying. Because they keep going about it in the same way. So let's say, again, if you're trying to quit smoking, let's say somebody's just going cold turkey. And that didn't work. And, but they're going to try again. But they're going to try just going cold turkey again and but that didn't work the last time so it's like why do you keep trying to do the do do it the same way you know instead of like you know i don't know like weaning yourself off you know instead of just being like i'm not gonna smoke at all it's like well why don't you just start by reducing the amount that you smoke and then like slowly like you know keep reducing and reducing and reducing because the cold turkey thing isn't working so whatever it is that they've been doing they keep trying it it's not working. Now, I do get here, it could have to do with something with their friends. Um, Min-maxing. <sighs> Whatever it is that they're trying to do, I do think like they're trying to optimize their time. Again, I'm going to take the example again of quitting smoking because I feel like this applies. I don't think, I mean, maybe for some people it's smoking, but I, I, I think that like somebody who quits cold turkey because they think well if I quit cold turkey then that means I'm not smoking at all um from this day forward and then I'm not spending any money on smokes and and like like they think that it's optimizing right 
that this would be the optimal way. I'm like, yes, it would be ideally the optimal way to quit smoking because, you know, you wouldn't have the smokes around you, you wouldn't be tempted by them, and you wouldn't be spending money on them and things like that, right? Plus, plus, plus. But if you can't do it, it's not optimal, right? But they're doing it, they're doing whatever they're they're doing is they feel it would be ideal and the most optimal thing, but it's not working. It's like <laughs> they keep doing it and it, it, it's just not going to work for them. Something to do with their friends. Um, they could be talking to their friends about this. Um, it could be something that is sort of known in their friend group that this is something that they've been trying to do, friends and family, um, something in their social circle. It could have to do with them directly i don't know but okay so i'm just basically their energy right now is they keep trying to do something that they keep i guess you could say failing at they but there's a sort of self-awareness that i know i need to do this i know i need to be better all right let's see when it comes to you what's their energy like towards you I don't like that. One more. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm. They think that you, um, got your guard up in some way here uh very resilient they see you as very resilient like nothing can kind of get you down right now like <laughs> what's it like captain america i can do this all day yeah i kind of see you like that um they see you doing stuff the magician you're making things happen for yourself making things happen in your life you're not just sitting down doing nothing you're actively manifesting actively doing things to get things going in your life some of that can be that you're actively moving on from things that you're letting go of things that um not necessarily that aren't helping you but like you know moving towards things that are more satisfying to you that would make you feel happier um than what you've got right now it's like it's like not settling for what you've got aiming for something better kind of thing yeah they see you're you're in control they do think you are in control right now. Like I said, every time like you bump into them on the elevator, you know, the way your aura or whatever your vibe to them is somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing and seems to be in complete control and seems, you know, to got to have things going for them, right? Let's see what else. Oh yeah, they like you, they got feelings for you. Like I said, you guys have a solid friendship. Like there's at the very least that, you know, they care about you on that level. They think that like you guys have a lot of potential here. Again, the friendship is coming through here. I think you guys, they, they feel like you guys have fun or at least uh, when you do talk that it's a good conversation, even if it's a short conversation, they do feel like um, the potential there is for more. Uh, yes, that there there is potential there that, you know, hey, if we talked a bit longer or, you know, if we actually went out and did something, you know, it would be a good time here. Um, yeah, they, they, they like you, you know, whatever. They, they've, I mean, the King of Cups here, they care about you, they care about your well-being, you know, they care about you know, that things are going well with you. Um, yeah. I, yeah, okay. They might not seem like it. But I also get they feel a little bit... I'm getting ignored, distracted, distant. They feel that possibly from you. It might be coming more from you than from them. It, it can go both ways, but like... Because it's all about perception, right? Um, but I think that they feel like you guys don't hang out enough. And so it's kind of like, 
maybe they feel like you're too busy or something or you're just not interested or I don't know okay I don't know have you asked them to hang out lately <laughs> maybe that's it maybe you just you haven't realized maybe you haven't realized that you haven't actually asked them lately maybe maybe that's it um let's see hmm okay yeah I was wondering there's a lot of pentacles here coins um in their intentions towards you. yeah even more uh, it's not bad I just it seems like right now their intentions aren't in that sort of romantic love type of vibe like I said I mean I think they do feel you guys have a strong a strong sort of connection a strong friendship here even if they feel like romantically interested in you it's like it's in the sort of potential phase like they it's like they feel potentially this could be this could grow into something but it doesn't feel like their intentions right now are for that i don't get that their intentions right now are for anything romantic um i don't think that's just with you because like i said th their energy right now seems to be very focused on improving themselves self-improvement and I, it can be like to do with money a job career or something like that school education i don't i don't feel like a lot of it i don't feel like romance is in this person's vibe right now okay because there's just there's just a lot of pentacles here um it's not bad but i do feel like they they do want to keep sort of their independence whatever it is that they're doing they want to be able to do it they might feel like maybe a relationship would tie them down right now because they seem to be very focused on self-improvement right now um they do but even even so um it's not like they don't intend to cut you out of that they want you to be a part of that they want you you know when i say here like they're friends right their friends probably know what they're doing you're a part of that group you're a part of this sort of inner circle that they have they want you to be a part of that group they want you to be you know to share in their successes and their failures and all of that you know they they do want you to be a part of that they want to tell you and share with you you know what's going on with them you know what they're working on and what they're doing and things like that you know they really do with the six of coins three of coins they really want to share these things with you you are they do cons i do feel like this person considers you a friend a really good friend a friend that they want to keep around okay hey why is that there okay why is that there Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. I was just wondering, I'm like, what are their next actions here towards you? Uh, they're they're kind of in some sort of recovery mode. Uh, it's not that they're not. There's something that they're not telling you, but it's I don't know. They just seem to need to recover from it in some way, heal from it. Um, it's something, it, it's been bothering them. It's been on their mind. It's been bothering, it's something from the past. It's something uh, I, probably between the two of you from the past here that they just don't really want to talk about. They don't want to talk about, they just kind of want to like figure it out for themselves and just kind of heal from it and let go. So they're like in the process of letting go of something you know dealing with something mentally here um from the past it, it doesn't even feel like it was like recently um so i don't know I, I guess that's just what they need to do whatever all right let me see where this is heading in the near future not bad what is all this okay i mean 
sure. I do feel like there is sort of a, a mature conversation here that could be coming up in the future. Um, it can be about... It could be... I feel like it's some sort of social social activity that you guys are doing so i mean maybe you go out have some drinks or something or you have a chat um hanging out there's sort of some sort of i get like bonding activity whatever you want to call it there's some sort of talk here serious conversation here it can be about relationships in general it can be about your relationship together um here I don't know exactly, um, but it seems to be about um, the, well, the lovers. It seems to be about like a relationship where, you know, that's really strong and harmonizing. I do feel it's probably related to you guys. I don't know if they will, because it's a very smart conversation. So it's kind of like, you know, maybe they could be talking about like hypothetically and things like that when if you read, you know, between the lines, the subtext of it, it can be about you guys, but they maybe are talking sort of hypoth in hypotheticals maybe or something like that. Um, I do also see that this person, whatever it is that they're working on, I do see them being very determined to succeed in it. So. I mean, it's all, there's a lot of self-improvement for this person, but I do feel they are, they are determined to succeed and they probably will succeed, um, sometime here. Uh, they are focused on it though. Okay. There is this very focus on self-improvement, but like I said, they want you involved in it. I get that they would like you to be more involved in it, that they would like to maybe hear what you have to say about it. Um, you know, get your opinions about it. You know, what do you think about it? Um, I do feel like they want to talk more to you about it. Okay. Anyways, um, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Uh, thanks for watching. I, if you like these readings, uh, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day and we're going to move on. Hey, Capricorn. I hope that you're doing well. Let's see what's going on person that's on your mind. We'll get into it. Excuse me, this one, right? Okay. Um, this person, I know there's something flipped in here, so I'm going to look for it while I talk. Um, I feel like this person, uh, they may, if they haven't already, um, has taken some sort of risk here to tell you how they feel to, or to show you how they feel, to express how they feel towards you. Um, they may be living in the past a little bit though. There could be some sort of rose colored glasses going on here. I don't know if it's the past with you or it's just their own past here. Um, I do feel like you guys have some sort of history here if, because that past life, I mean, it can be in this life or in another life, but, um, there's something about this connection that I don't know if they're stuck in the past, but they do think a lot about the past here. Um, they do reminisce a lot about your connection. Um, so I, I feel you guys have a history, um, but this is, I don't know if this is happening right now. I don't even know if this is in the past because there's so much emphasis here about the past that this could be from the past. 
that they could be remembering how they expressed how they felt to you in the past and wanting to take a risk there maybe to express that to you again um or they already have i can't i can't tell there um there's some sort of risk that they are willing to take here with this connection it can be because of the past so if you guys have a history you know maybe because you guys have a history together they're more willing to take a risk on this connection uh, maybe a risk to express how they feel all right let's see what's going on in their energy There's some sort of confidence, like this feels a little bit confident because there's something that they've accomplished in their life recently. Yeah, I think that they've been having like kind of a rough time and then accomplishing something has sort of boosted their confidence. You know, you know, uh, I, whatever it is, it could be anything. It could be like, I finished the jigsaw puzzle <laughs> or something. I finished a book that I've been reading. Or something like I completed a chorus or something. Um, so this person is feeling it's having that little boost of confidence, which could explain why um, they want to take a risk that they that they're willing to take a risk. You know, confidence allows you to feel that way. Um, Whatever this bad day thing is, whatever um, like rough spot that they were going in, this person doesn't normally have that. I feel like this person usually in their energy is pretty either, either they're somebody who's pretty optimistic, um, like pretty positive, or they, it's, it's either that, it's either they're really optimistic and really positive, so usually not a lot gets them down, or they're pretty good at getting themselves out of holes, out of ruts and things like that. So they're not usually down for very long. Um, or they're just kind of, I'm, I'm going to say it's kind of privileged um, or kind of sheltered or something. And so they don't really have super bad periods of time a lot. Um, but this person had, and I think maybe they got themselves out of it and maybe that's what they're feeling accomplished about. I don't know. They feel accomplished about something. So there's a sort of, I get this boost of confidence here, boost of energy from it. But this, this sort of like, you know, feeling like down and having sort of this rough spot here. Uh, I don't think that is something that is a regular occurrence for this person. Um, it could have been prolonged longer than they're used to um because i don't think this like ever happens to them i think they felt very overwhelmed by it because it's like what the fuck this never happens to me i never have like like extremely bad days or like bad times like this um yeah i know you can hate this person for that sure but <laughs> um i think it's just the type of person i guess they are because it's like, it's not that bad things don't happen to this person. I mean, maybe to an extent, maybe they're um, privileged in that way, but it's how they, I think their mindset towards it, that usually they probably are able to get out of it in some way, um, or it doesn't take them very long, but, and I, I even get here, this probably wasn't even that long, but now they're not in that anymore and so like they have that sort of i feel good about it i feel good i'm not in that anymore all right let's see how their energy is like towards you They think you're kind of stable. I got like stability there. Like whatever you've been, you've committed yourself to. Like they see, like they think, like you have 
responsibility. I'll put it that way. That you're responsible. That um, you have responsibilities and that you are like that you keep up with them or whatever um, here. Why do I hate cups? I think you're moving on from something here. I don't know. What is that eight of cups? Like you're not interested. Okay. It's something outside of this connection here. Um, but something has shifted for you. At least they think that something has shifted for you and that you're moving on from it here. Uh, you're just not really interested in that. Whatever. The, yeah. Whatever this eight of cups is. They don't think that you're interested in it. It could be that you're moving on from a connection, a relationship. Um, it can be a job. Something that I feel there was some stability in that. Um, so they think that you're moving on from it. So you could have been in a marriage, a long-term connection. Um, you could have been working at a job for a while or something like that. Some Something that had been like a mainstay maybe in your life. They feel like they think that something has shifted in your life and that you've moved on from it and you just don't care about it anymore. It's it's not something that you have a lot of interest in. They just think you're really disinterested in it. Whatever it is. Okay, what else? I also saw the Seven Pentacles with that Wheel of Fortune. So I was getting, you know, it's about damn time. Something here. So it's like something has shifted that it's like finally. it's it, It's shifted in your favor. Okay, it could be this, whatever, maybe you are also feeling that too, I don't know. Um, this also wanted to come out, so I will put that there. I, I get that in their feelings, they, they want to learn more about what this connection is, uh, with the lovers there. It's more of like, I'm is a curiosity but it's like i want to learn more about you know these types of connections the lovers that's what i'm getting i don't know if it's about your connection or not but they feel like they they need to learn more about what is a deep soul connection or whatever like that it feels very practical i'm not gonna lie okay yeah I get that there is, um, they want to move forward here with you. Like they feel things could move in a good direction. Okay. They are curious about you. Yeah. They're curious about how they feel about you. Um, they are, you know, they're curious about you in general. They're interested in you. You've piqued their interest. Um, it's like they want to move forward here with you and they're sort of curious about, you know, maybe could this be a connection that lasts a long time? Could this be something that, you know, that I can get serious about? Um, I don't know, like it doesn't seem to be at that stage. Like there's just a curiosity right now. But I do feel like they want to, they, they feel like things could move in a very good direction here. I'm getting like, it just feels a little bit cautious. Like, I don't feel like they're hesitating. That's the thing. I, I'm, I, I'm, it's like, they're going for it. I do get it. I do get in their energy. Energetically, they are going for this. Um, but there's still sort of things that they want to know about. They still want to know more about, you know, what is a deep soul connection? Is this a deep soul connection? I want to learn more about that. I'm more curious about you. Like, and how do you feel? And things like that. There, there is that. There are still questions. Basically, they have questions, but even though they don't have the answers, they don't need the answers in order to move forward. They'll still move forward without the answers, but they still have questions. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting very strong, like, fire from this person. Fire and earth energies. Um, but, anyways. Um, yeah. We got the past showing up here again. 
Yeah, their intentions here, um, they're not going to back down. I don't feel like they're backing down. They don't want to back down from this. They do want to try something here. I get, again, the, the risk factor, right, with the fool here. I want to take a risk. I want to try something here um, soon. This is soon. Sooner rather than later, I would like to try something again. Here's the memories. It's all coming up again, right? Their intentions for towards you is the same energy that's coming up with how they see your connection. So everything that I said, said there, it's still applying. It's just being backed up by all of this here, right? You can see it. The fool, the, you know, the, the, the risk taking, the memories here. It's all coming up here again, right? Um, I do get that this person um, probably soon, if they haven't already, wants to do something here, wants to take some sort of action or start something here. Um, I get also with the five of swords underneath. It's like, I want to do something sooner rather than later because it's like, I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. I will say with the five of swords being here that this person isn't thinking long term right now, at least in their intentions. Their intentions right now are like, I need to get something going right now. I'll think about, I'll figure, I, I'm getting like, I'll figure the rest out later. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, this seems to be very fiery energy, fiery and earth, because there is a certain amount of rationality that I'm getting from a lot of this energy. So it's like, they might have very strong, or at least in their um, strong placements in fire and earth. Okay, well, I don't need to know what they're going to do next because I, I, I don't know exactly, like, I know they want to do something, so it'll be something, okay? <laughs> like, let's just see where this is heading in the near future. Why is strength here? When did strength show up? I mean, yeah, I do feel like they're quite... I'm telling you, this person's got this sort of confidence here in them. They fin they accomplished something in their life, whatever it is. If they were like feeling kind of sad about themselves, I don't know what was going on. I really don't know. Whatever that sort of wrecked energy was, that bad day energy, the, whatever cloud they had hanging over their head, it's gone. And because it's gone, they've got this sort of confidence in themselves. Um... It can be a quiet confidence, but it's just they have this courage, this strength, okay? Okay, where is this heading in the near future? Yeah. There it is again. Mm, there he is again. Page Pentacles. Yeah, I... The Magician here, this is somebody who's making something happen here. The Magician gets shit done. <laughs> so somebody is getting something done here. Action, where is it coming from? Because they're feeling braver. They've got the strength here. Um, there's a curiosity as well with the Page of Pentacles. Somebody... You know, I, I part of that is part of this magician is I want to know something. Um, I want to learn. You know, I'm interested. I'm curious. Um, and here we go. Here we go again with the sort of past with judgment. Um, I feel a lot of this energy is fueled by the past uh, for this person. Like I said, there's something that they keep reminiscing about, something from their past. It can be the past between you guys. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there was a missed opportunity in the past. I don't know. Maybe they feel, I got, you know, I'm, I, I should try again. Um, or it could just be in their past. Maybe they, they had some sort of regret or something. I don't know. Maybe they felt like they missed out on something in their past and they want to try again. Uh... There's something about the past that is being fueled here, something that they didn't get a lot of experience in. They don't they don't know what it would have been like kind of thing. So if you guys have a history, maybe there's something about your connection that they're they, they're curious about. Maybe maybe you guys never had that sort of like official like relationship or something and maybe they're curious you know what would it be like to be with Capricorn in that way? You know what would it be like if you know I took things seriously? 
it can be something like that. I don't know exactly. Um, I'm just reading the energy. I don't know specifics. So I'm trying my best to kind of tell you what that energy could translate to, but I mean, I don't know for sure, right? Not psychic, can't tell you exactly, but I can redo the the energy that's here. Um, but yeah. All right, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these readings, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day, and we're going to move on. Okay, Aquarius, I hope that you're doing well. Um, let's see what's going on with the person that's on your mind. Take a little peek. this person looking at your connection right now um there's something about this connection that they feel is very familiar um you guys could have a history uh whether i guess in this life or in another life maybe um but they do i get that they feel there's something familiar about you i mean this isn't a new connection you guys have known each other i'll basically i'll put it that way um i do feel like this person needs to they're 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 putting a lot of effort into keeping boundaries um here because i get like they feel like a, a connection here like chemistry here with you they feel like the feelings are mutual like how they feel towards you they feel like you feel towards them there's a sort of mutual like um feeling toward like between the two of you they do feel that here but they do feel like they need to go about things a little differently the way that they put effort into this connection it's like they they feel like they need to do things differently here and it seems to have to do with boundaries that they're making some sort of strong boundaries um here in this connection so if you feel like this person is uh, yeah if they've put up some sort of wall or something here that they didn't have before that could be it part of it can be because they feel this chemistry between the two of you as well i don't know exactly why though okay but this is how they're feeling um towards the connection let's see what their energy is like what's going on with them look very similar okay ah I see okay so um I'm gonna be I mean I'm always honest but like this person I feel like they've been focused on their work uh, or focused on working on things or just for focused on their life, like sort of the daily minutia of life. Um, maybe, you know, they've been focused on getting things done in their life. Maybe just things, maybe they just have like a lot of like errands or chores or something here. I'm getting something that's just sort of repetitive. Like it's like they just keep, there's something that they keep having to do the same every day like a job um like it can be their job that they've just been kind of focused on that i do feel that it's not like um 
they don't feel bad about it. Um, I do feel for the most part that they feel like things are going well, as well as they can be, I guess you could say. Um, I don't think they're dealing with any major sort of hiccups or like, obstacles right now it, at least it doesn't seem that way i wouldn't say that things are going smoothly but it's just kind of it doesn't feel like they're having any big issues right now um they're just kind of just focused on you know kind of I mean, yeah maybe they're focused on money or something they're just focused on whatever's going on in their daily life but it's nothing like out of the ordinary for them it's just the same shit kind of thing that they just do every day, basically. Um, this, though, it doesn't feel as bad because I'm like, that's why I said I'm like, these look very similar because this one's before and this one's quite positive. It, it It's kind of like, it's mostly they're frustrated that they have to do things on their own. <laughs> I think that's the frustration for them is that, I mean, maybe they wish that they had somebody else to help them or you know somebody to share the load with or something i don't know most of their frustration just seems to be because they are having to do things on their own um and that they maybe feel a little isolated or something like that like they just feel on their own and i think that is where some of the frustration is coming from it doesn't feel like it's like a whole lot of frustration it doesn't feel like this is something that bothers them a lot like it's not like it's not debilitating i'll put it that way it's just because things just seem to be kind of going the way that they're going it's just this is sort of if you wanted to know what was kind of on their mind um in a sense then that's what it is the sort of being alone and the sort of i guess isolation of it um not feeling like they're getting help or maybe just it could just be the company of others or something lacking that or something in that aspect okay so that seems to me what's going on in their energy maybe that helps you in some way i don't know <laughs> let's see what their energy is like towards you Well, that is you right the king of swords aquarius interesting they see you as you they see you who you as who you are very resilient they see you being they do think that you have a wall up okay they as much as they have a wall up they think you have a wall up as well again there's that sort of chemistry the mutual energy here they have a wall up you have a wall up you know they kind of they they think that at least they think that you also do they think you're conflicted with something tell me more about that you're conflicted with your happiness oh huh? they think that you're not sharing how happy you are or something like that they think that you're keeping your happiness to yourself that you could be conflicted in perhaps showing that you're happy or expressing happiness here something like that basically i think they think you're holding back okay they think you're holding back you know if you're not if like they think that maybe you're not showing your true happiness. Although I will say they're not surprised by it because they see you as you are. They see you as being the sort of Aquarian energy with the King of Swords. King, the King of Swords does not show, share his feelings openly, right? The King of Swords is very sort of, yeah, he can be seen as cold, but it's like he's just more methodical about his sort of actions and what he says. And it doesn't mean that he doesn't care. It's just maybe he just he doesn't see the point in saying things that 
are obvious or something like that. So even though like I say these things, it's like I would say that this person really they're not expecting you to share that you're happy or that like how you like this whatever positive energy if you're happy about things. I don't feel like they're expecting that, but they do think that you have a wall up and that you are maybe conflicted about it that maybe you want to maybe they think that you you might want to but you're conflicted about how much happiness that you express how much happiness that you share because maybe they think that you don't want to be too vulnerable that you know oh if i show that like i'm happy then maybe that that opens me up to something you know i don't know anyways okay um let's see what else Okay, very positive. Okay, wait, why is this two? Oh, okay. Um, mm. Well, I will say how they feel towards you um, is mostly positive here. Um, they feel like they're pretty sure they know how they feel towards you. Um, I'm getting even like that's not even a question with the world here like they know they know how they feel towards you I know you're probably like well how do they feel I'm like well I don't really know exactly <laughs> but in, in the bigger picture things of how they feel towards you um, I'm just getting that's not even a question I know how I feel okay um they are attracted to you with the Knight of Wands. They feel very drawn to you. Like they're very focused on you. Um, their energy is focused on you. Um, there is a sort of desire for you, passion towards you. Um, they are a little bit um, uncertain though about things here and some of that uncertainty probably it seems to be with this eight of cups here they're uncertain if you've moved on perhaps um they're not sure you know yeah because with the page of swords here this is like the page of swords he kind of doesn't he thinks he knows things but he doesn't know things right he doesn't know for sure uh the page of swords can make assumptions about things uh just because they he, he doesn't have enough information so they're not they're uncertain of how they should feel because they don't know if you've moved on does that make sense let's see what else oh that's nice they have these intentions here of offering you some sort of love offer. I don't know what that is exactly, but their intentions are to give you love. I'll, I'll put it that way, <laughs> okay? Hmm, why is this nine of swords here? Hmm, okay. Well, they want to, I get, clear something up here that's been on their mind. It could have been something that happened, a conversation, some sort of action that happened very quickly, maybe unexpectedly here. So they do want to clear something up that they've been thinking an awful lot about possibly because whatever this action was this eight of wands there's something about it that they don't fully understand something that they feel is hidden maybe from them <laughs> okay oh yeah okay four cups page of cups these are this is the boundary that I was talking to you about um, with how they're looking at you the four of cups they don't intend to I guess you could say get too emotionally involved um, 
here. Part of that is, I'm going to say it is a bit of an immature way of looking at it here. Um, Cause like I said, this person knows how they feel. So it's like, okay, I know how I feel, but like also I don't want to get too involved emotionally here. Um, it can just be because it's like that would mean they would not be in control of their emotions. You know, the page of cups, he's not really in control of his emotions because he lets, um, he, he gets, um, what do you call it? Like carried away. The page of cups, he's a very dreamer, dreamy type of energy. Uh, he gets his head in the clouds. He gets, he gets carried away with his feelings, right? And that's where I'm seeing where this is coming from. So this is somebody that they don't intend to get their feelings all twisted up here, all their emotions all twisted up here because they, they just don't want to get carried away with that. But they do want to, like I said, first first energy out is the strongest. They do want to give love to you in some way. An Ace of Cups, it can be in a new way. You know, maybe they, they want to have sort of a new relationship here with you. Um, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but they, they want to offer you love in some way. What are their likely next actions towards you? Knight of Swords, whatever it is, um, they're coming at you to probably to say something, do something here. Um, it's quite direct. It's not without thought though, with the Hermit here. Sometimes the Knight of Swords can come across as they're just doing things and they're not really thinking about it. No, this one, this Knight is thinking about, he has already thought about not what he's going to say exactly, because it seems a little bit impulsive in that aspect. Knights, especially Knight of Swords, they do things quickly. So it's not really like, they didn't plan much. It's not planned, but at the same time, it's not without thinking. There is thought behind this. There, uh, The Hermit is, it's like, I should say something. I should do something. You know, this would be in my best interest. This would be in your best interest. I should do these things here. Um... In a way, it's like, it makes sense for them, I guess you could say. All right, let's see where is this energy heading in the near future. nice. It's nice as well. Okay. Ooh, I like this. Even though it's minor arcana, it is nice. Um, these broken cups here, right? The eight of cups here. There's something there, whatever these broken cups are, and with the six of swords, we're all, everybody here is moving towards this rainbow. Okay. It's like whatever these broken cups, we're leaving those behind. So I get here, whatever was going on, these broken cups, they're not even a thing. They were throwing them out. Like you can't use them. They're unusable. Throwing that out. This energy is on both sides with the six of pentacles. I'm going to say overall, um, there is a sort of synergy, harmonizing, reciprocating type of energy here between the two of you. It's like, it's like basically, okay, we're in agreement that we can't drink out of these cups anymore, right? This is, this would be the two of you energetically. Like, yeah, we both agree we can't drink from these cups anymore. So there's no point in keeping these cups around. Let's toss them. And you're both like, yes, I would agree with that. I'm on the same page here with you. Can't drink from broken cups. You can cut your mouth and all that. It's just dangerous. So no, yeah, I totally agree. Let's, let's toss them. 
it's a bit of a slow it's kind of slow here to do that but it's like okay we're both in agreement that yeah having these cups around wasn't any good and that maybe was part of the problem of why we couldn't like clear the air or why we couldn't you know move things forward and so it's like yeah so once we get rid of those we're well on our way to this rainbow it's a little bit of slowness here i do see here there's a conversation here let's talk about these things let's talk about why did these cups happen maybe perhaps i'm not saying like we're the that you're going to be talking about these cups exactly but it's kind of like let's talk about it's these three swords like i'm getting like a very mature conversation this is your energy as well uh with the king of swords let's talk about something that has been bothering either you or them here there is this sort of okay now that we've cleared the air it's after we get rid of these cups it's like okay once we've got rid of these cups we're not thinking about these cups anymore it's fine it's almost like a sigh of relief it's like okay i'm relieved we don't have these cups anymore so now i feel more like i can talk about you know the pain it's not necessarily talking about feelings it is in a way but it's more kind of like now i can talk and i can start to heal the pain right it's not about talking exactly about why these cups hurt or why you know you know having these cups around were so bad or, or anything it's like once the cups are gone and you can move more towards this rainbow here you see the rainbow here the rainbow on the sword then it allows the conversation to be like more healing now it's like there isn't this anymore the cups whatever they are and now the conversations that you guys have is a lot more healing and i feel it's more healing for you than for them because this is your energy but it, but again there's a sort of reciprocating energy so they're also healing as well they heal through this too you heal through that too these cups you both needed to get rid of them and they're gone now i don't know what these cups represent um i don't know if there's something within your connection between the two of you or individually maybe you you have broken cups and they have broken cups and you both need to get rid of them and then you do together through this connection i hope that made sense I feel like sometimes I, like, I, I talk a lot and then I don't know if it makes sense, but I hope that did. Um, but that's what I have for you, Aquarius. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoy these readings, please like, share, or subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day and um, we're going to move on. Okay, Pisces. I hope that you're doing well. Let's see what's going on with the person that's on your mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, they really like you. Okay. I don't know if this is a new connection. It could be. Um... But they see your connection as very, like, I don't know. It's very nice. It's very romantic, very playful in that sort of stage where, you know, there's a lot of flirting going on, you know, taking chances to say things. To, I'm getting there's some teasing going on, um, some, like, playful banter, things like that. Um, yeah, I do feel love is in the air. Um, I don't know if this is new or not. It does feel like it's like in a honeymoon type of stage. It does feel similar to that. It doesn't have to be, but it does feel like that. It's how, that's how they're viewing your connection. Let's see. What's their energy like? Okay, that is not what I was expecting. I don't know how serious they are about this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, 
don't know how serious they are. If you, if, if this is new and you, like, you don't know, if you don't know this person very well, then I do feel like there's a very casual energy here to them. I don't know if that goes for you, but on their side, I don't get somebody who's very serious about a lot of things right now. That's all I get with this clown, right? It's like, what are clowns? Do you take clowns seriously? No. If, it, if somebody showed up, you know, to like something serious, like, uh, like a trial, if some, if a lawyer showed up dressed as a clown to a trial, you would not take them seriously. You know, if a doctor showed up to surgery dressed as a clown, you would not take them seriously, right? So yeah, this person I'm getting, they're not taking things seriously right now in their life. I don't know if that translates to your connection, but I would say that probably it, it applies to a lot of things in their life. Um, especially in their communication. I think that this person jokes around a lot uh, when they talk to people. Um, like, they just don't take things very seriously. They could be a little immature. Um, like, maybe they send a lot of memes. Like, like, maybe everything they say is kind of like a meme or it's kind of like a joke kind of thing like that here. Um... I don't know why I'm getting like this is somebody I, I would not be surprised if they are like a student like you know going to school or something like that because I kind of like yeah it just yeah it feels like somebody who's still going to school that's what I get here with this top tier like it feels like a gold star like trying to you know be the best at something it's either that or like there's some sort of athlete. They could be an athlete of some sort here um, because there's something about their energy where they are trying to, they, it's not that they're trying, they are the best. Like they are considered one of the best in whatever it is that they're doing. That could be why they're all kind of jokes and stuff like that. Because why do they have to be serious? They don't have to be serious because they feel like they're the best at something. I do think that they have a lot of talent in something. Um, I don't know what it, it can be anything. Uh, like I said, it can be like sports, some sort of athletic ability, um, like uh, or dancing or, you know, maybe they're very active on social media. Maybe they got like a TikTok where they get like a lot of like views and likes and stuff. And so they feel like they're on top of their game or something like that. Um, yeah, I, I don't get a lot of like stress from this person. <laughs> um, this is interesting. I don't know exactly what this is referring to with camping um it's just an energy of sort of waiting um it is a spying energy i don't it can be that they're spying on other people there's something that they're waiting for um i don't know i don't know it's like maybe they're waiting for the next thing because they've already achieved something so it's like okay i've achieved this what's next kind of thing and they're just kind of in this sort of moment of I guess you can call it limbo where I just don't feel like they need to do anything right now I just don't feel like they have a lot of responsibilities in a sense um they just seem to be in this sort of limbo area okay anyways let's see what their energy is like towards you I always feel like Pisces not always but a lot of times when I do Pisces readings it does come off as younger younger than the other readings like just in general it just always just kind of has a sort of really young energy so I don't know if like uh, the messages for people if they're just younger I, I don't know 
Yeah, I get that. You might be older than this person. I think you're older than this person. Because they, they kind of put you a bit on a pedestal. They see you as somebody that is like, it does feel like a prize to be won, but like they see you as somebody that has a lot going for them. I don't know why I'm going to say it, but it kind of like, like you have status, like Taylor Swift type of thing. Like you have to think of like when Taylor Swift is single, like do people like, like think like, Hey, you know, if I was with Taylor Swift, I would have like something really good. Like, I don't know. It feels a bit like of a trophy. I'm not even going to lie because they seem to put you on a pedestal. That's the only thing. Okay. Mm, why? Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. They think that you... I don't, I don't know if you're with somebody, you could be with somebody, um, but this sort of representation of the emperor, especially to the empress as a counterpart, they think that you make some sort of excuses for this energy. There could be somebody around you who either you're with them, you're in a relationship with them, or... Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I think you're you're with somebody, and I think this person is just somebody who's being very playful and flirty with you, while you're with somebody else, this emperor, and yeah, okay. I think I see. Um, this is very specific, okay. <laughs> yeah. But it does seem that the sort of the situation could be that. You have somebody who's younger who's been flirting with you and being very playful and all of that and you could be married, uh, you could be in a long-term relationship here with somebody and the way that they see you, they also they see you that you're making excuses for this emperor. They also think that, that you're kind of lying um, either about this emperor or you're lying to this emperor. The Page of Swords, he's not very... Um, he he can talk a lot of bullshit. He 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 can spin a story. So um, something along those lines. Okay, I don't know exactly, but they do think that you're speaking some sort of bullshit when it comes to the emperor. It doesn't. The, the you might not even be with somebody, but you know you say you maybe you tell them no, I'm single or no, I I'm not with anybody. You know I'm you know whatever, but they could maybe not really believe that like no you're an empress how 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 do how do you expect me to believe that you don't have an emperor it can become it could be be something like that they, they don't fully believe you they think that you're just kind of you're lying that if you say you're not married but they still they think that you are they think that you want to move things faster or that you that you're moving things faster here yeah knight of swords and the eight of wands yeah they think that you're progressing things very quickly here with your actions and what you say okay Let's see what else oh they feel very drawn to you there's something familiar about you to them. Like they feel like, I'm getting deja vu. They feel deja vu with you. Why is that? Or have you been involved with this person before? The Fool and King of Swords. It can be that this person, 
they're feeling some sort of deja vu here because they may have seen this before. Um, they could have seen somebody that is quite intelligent and smart um, start some sort of relationship. Yeah, this is about a relationship. This can be, um, it can be somebody in their life that they've seen do this. Um, like it can be like their parents or something. Um, it can be them as well. Like they feel deja vu here with you because maybe they've done this before. Um, where, you know, they started something here. I'm getting the King of Swords is somebody who has a strategy. This can be that maybe this is something they've done before, they've strategized before um, here when starting new connections, new relationships here, perhaps even with people who are in committed relationships or even just starting new relationships with the intent of commitment here or something like that. I'm going to tell you, the, probably the most, the most um, likely here is this is somebody that goes after married people <laughs> like this is sort of their strategy their strategy is they they flirt around with people that are in relationships that are married why I have no idea um it doesn't have to be that um it can be that they've seen it before that they've seen it happen um like maybe their parents, maybe their parents split up or something because of that, some sort of infidelity perhaps. Um, but I don't know. Let's see. What else? Well, they intend to finish what they started here. Yeah, they don't want to, I'm getting like, yeah, they intend to finish what they started here. They'd be disappointed in themselves if they didn't. Uh, okay. I'm getting like they don't really intend to do anything that you don't want to do. Although I will say that this person can be quite persuasive in terms of like, you know, strength, like in terms of like, um, like very influential here, they can be very influential, but I, I don't feel like they're in any sort of rush. They think that you want to rush things, but they don't, they're not in any sort of rush here. I get that this person, they don't intend, yeah, they don't intend to do anything that you're not really comfortable with. I don't feel like this person will push anything here they do seem to have some sort of patience in that some sort of restraint they're not going to push you to do anything that you don't want to do okay um what are they likely to do next here oh that's nice this person's confusing. I'm confused by this person. Because I'll be honest. So, this person seems to be somebody who is very carefree, um, free spirited, I guess you could say. Doesn't take things very seriously here. It just seems to be just enjoying life and waiting for the next sort of thing that happens. Um, they. They, f they think very highly of you, even though they don't always, they don't seem to believe everything that you say. Um, and they seem to feel like there's some sort of strategy involved here, whether it's their strategy or your strategy or something. I don't know. They kind of feel like I've, you know, I've, I've seen this being played out before, but even then they don't want to push anything here with you. You know, they want to make sure you guys are on the same page. 
and that they do intend to finish what they started here with you but i also get like their next actions come from a place of kindness of love it's not bullshit either they may offer you a relationship here in some way here or offer you some sort of stability emotional stability here it doesn't feel like bullshit though yeah it's like i want to it's like almost trying to take things to the next step here like offering you like hey do you want that is this what you want like i said this person won't force you to do anything that you don't want to do um but they may put the offer on the table here be like hey you know if you want to be in a relationship with me it's there but you don't have to take it it can be something like that i don't know whatever it is it's coming out from the kindness of their heart it's not bullshit I say that it's on bullshit that the seven of swords comes out no okay yeah they're done yeah it's that's it it's not bullshit i know the seven of swords came out but it came out with the eight of cups if you are wary of their bullshit and you're like yeah you okay all as you say it's not bullshit but i'm like it's not because they're done with that i get here at the seven of swords the eight of cups i'm done with i'm done with the lying you know, I'm done with the, un, you know, not being trust, not like the, like, um, the secrets and the untrusting whatever nature of things. No. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm telling you, it's not bullshit. So if they do offer you something like that, it may, you know, use your intuition and all that and your best judgment, but, uh, here energetically, I'm not, it doesn't seem like it's bullshit. All right. Um, where is this heading in the near future? Where is this energy heading in the near future? I can see that because of the way that they view you. And the way that they think about you. I don't think that you realize how much they like you. And how much they respect you. At least that's what's showing up here this person's complicated dude okay <laughs> uh, but they do really like you and they do like enjoy they enjoy spending time with you and they enjoy the, you know the feeling of this connection so i i do get that okay wishy-washy could go either way wants to come out too mm, i see yeah okay no i i understand i understand it's i do feel like it's up to you really the direction of this connection where this is going um soon soon this this queen of cups soon it's almost like i don't know if you're being tested it almost feels like that but i do feel soon you will be it, it it's like soon this is happening okay soon this queen of cups is offering you this person is offering you some sort of cup her cup here here it is what do you want to do with it um it really depends on if you want to trust yourself if you want to trust this person I mean, it can go either way. I get with the the two of pentacles. I also feel like, um, again, like that sort of saying, you know, what is meant for you, you will not miss. If if you deny it, um, because maybe because you're not ready or something like that. If it's meant for you, I do feel it will come back around again. I get that also with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I do feel overall this is coming on even though i say soon it's like it is slow it's been in the making here um there's a bit of a cautious energy here um i do feel like it is just basically a work in progress okay this whole thing here um you do what you feel is right for you you know if you if if you don't trust it 
and if you can't trust yourself, then you know maybe you're not ready, right? But just because you're not ready doesn't mean the opportunity won't come around again. It could with that two of pentacles. If it's meant to come around, it will come around again. Um, but yeah, it does feel like soon there's some sort of, I guess you can call it a test, you know, but it's more on yourself. Can you trust yourself? It's not about trusting I, this person. It's more, can you trust yourself? Do you trust your own instincts? Do you trust your own intuition? Is what I'm getting. It's mostly about that. Not so much um, them. But how do you feel? Are you trusting your feelings? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these readings, uh, please like, share, or subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day. But that's what I have here for you and everyone. So thank you, um, everybody, uh, for watching and for listening and all of that. I hope that you found something useful or insightful here, or at least just entertaining. Um, again, if you do um, enjoy these, uh, please like, share, or subscribe. Uh, you can comment as well. I do read all the comments, uh, even if I don't reply <laughs> right away. Um, but I, I do appreciate all that, all the support and everything. And I thank everybody. I hope that you guys have a good day or good night wherever you are. And you take care, be well, and I will talk to you later.